Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tombs of Scoria. How are you all doing today? We're doing great. We're all doing pretty good, yeah? yeah. That's great. Of course. Okay, I'm ready to watch. Why wouldn't yep. we be doing great today? So, well, I don't know. It's been a long week. Maybe someone got sick. Did anybody Maybe something sick? happened in the world that annoyed you? No. Nope. Where uh, last? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you guys had the election, right? Looks like Trump's star has finally fallen. Trump bad. Orange man bad, Nick. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. Oh, True. Okay. No, let's not talk about the, the collapse of the Republican Party. Oh, no. No, but like, uh, is Ron DeSantis still winning hers? Yeah. But but we beat each what? other. I was asking if Lauren Boebert's like ahead now. She is. Oh, she finally ahead? Last yeah, but I think they just like counted. 34. They just counted a hugely like Republican district. Republican. The area. difference right now is like 804 votes or 806 votes. Oh. It's pretty crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw it was what, like 64 that's... yesterday. What yeah, state is that? Is she in? Morning. Colorado. Colorado. It's oh, my rifle state. Col Colorado. Did you Neil? Did you vote? Yeah, of course I did. But she's you not in my district, so I don't vote for yeah, her. Yeah, dumbass. Or her. You need to get an illegal address. Go run an apartment somewhere, Koibu. 
<laughs> I might have to run a, rent an apartment anyway to hide from your minions after they come to kill me when you die today. Oh, no. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> That's the second time he's made a comment like that. Uh-oh. You might be in trouble. He's scared. I'll just roll on a D100. We'll pick one number. I'll be fine. That was great. Yeah, just don't roll a, you know, a 42. 77. Well, before we hop into where we left off, <clears throat> I want to take a moment to uh, appreciate the seriousness of this event here. Uh, and we're going to do that via the mechanism of one of our classic flashbacks to the time after you've come back from rescuing uh, Mr. Mooton, but before you've attacked the castle. There were a couple of days in there where you were just trying to like kill some time and before you could make your strike. And I think one of the conversations that inevitably came up during these moments, especially on the heels of rescuing Mr. Mooton from far out deep space, is what would happen? What would the plan be if one of you didn't make it? Now, this is just the idle chatter of four brothers, three brothers, trying to pass the time, you know, waiting for some mission, some adventure to go on, waiting for a castle to siege, a mother to rescue, a king to kill, an assassin to steal weapons from. And Emmerich's in here with his bottle of wine that he's gathered, because he's back to drinking wine again, <clears throat> after the whole thing with Atropos. And the three of you are sitting around a table with a maybe a candle or a lantern there to light it in your attic, trying to keep a low profile, windows blacked out, hidden in that pile of boxes where that teleportation square is. And the conversation naturally turns to, well, what would we do if something happened and one of our brothers was gone forever and there was no way to get him back? What would we do? What would what would happen? It's at this point that um, uh, me and Koibu already talked about this off stream, but Tiro reveals that mm -hmm. he has a half brother that has been waiting Leary, in secret right there. <laughs> the entire time, just in case anything happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's been on his own missions. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we're hanging out. Imric's having a drink. A reasonable Who brought it one, up? right? Um, I'll bring it up. We've just risked the safety and future of our kingdom, covering our younger brother Anton here. Middle brother, but my younger brother Anton here. <laughs> um. Suppose in the final days of this war, one of us were to fall on the battlefield. How do you think it's most appropriate to proceed? We've used the wish scroll. There's still great risks to us out there. <clears throat> Imric is whispering to himself, unable to oh. be heard by anyone in the Sorry. room. Um, let's not kid ourselves. It's been a possibility since day one. Um, by some miracle, we've survived this far, but the thought's not been far from my mind. What would we do? Well, the mission stays the same, doesn't it? We have to kill Scoria, and if one of us is to die in the process of making that happen, then surely the others would owe it to them to try and complete the mission. So fight against Scoria, one we can win with only two of us alive? Depends when it happens, where it happens. We've come so far at this point that maybe. Wouldn't just be two of us. Uh, unless Shine died as well, then we should have her. We're going to need to pull all, all the stops against Scoria, so I hope it doesn't come to this. But um, if I were to go, then obviously I'd want you two to complete the task. Maybe the queen has a, a warrior who could take up our arms? I think it's safe to say that the queen has no contingency plan at this point in time. Otherwise, the situation wouldn't have grew so dire in our absence. I agree. I agree. There is no other plan. That's why there's no choice. One of us dies, we have to carry on. And if that means you know, strengthening further before making the fight to Scoria, then I suppose that's what we'd have to do. But the dragon has to die. And if that means us dying along the way, then so be it. I think that's always been the deal. Who would you 
take? Would you replace one of your dead with someone else? Would you find an NPC that you could trust to hold your backs? Or would you just do it the two of you? Well, it would... I, mean, I don't know who we're answering here. Maybe it's just the servants cleaning the room. That's why I, I yeah. We're just contemplating amongst ourselves. It's like a... Uh... Um, it depends how they died, right? If if someone died in a battle and we could recover their gear, then... What about Jack? A strong fighter could be equipped and still perform. Might be more difficult Jack's to replace probably a level, level 7 by now. Um, he's always the strongest fighter, probably out of all three of us. Um, he's a dwarf, so he's a stubborn fool, but if I think one of us died, he could probably take up the mantle. Perhaps I'd prefer one of the Queen's Guard. Good luck getting the Queen to give you anything. Well, like you said, she's got no other plan. Although I think we're all agreed <laughs> that if someone is to die, then we carry on. I think the uncomfortable question is what happens after Scoria? Because one or two mean? of us missing from this planet is going to significantly change the trajectory of our family after Scoria is gone. As long as you're alive, Serial, it makes no difference. I don't think I want to rule over any lands with the absence of one of my brothers, especially if we can avoid it. I think we can all agree that if it comes to kingdom or brother, what do we choose if that choice comes before us? Brother before Scoria. kingdom, brother before God. Scoria has to die. Anything else is on the table after that. But we can't go through all this and back out. I'm willing to give my life for it. I already have in some ways. Hmm. Okay. It's an uncomfortable road to ponder, but... If <laughs> there are ways to bring people back... I don't That's know if true. Scory is going to have a wish scroll. I, it is. Well, I don't know how many more deals with the devil we can afford to make. We've already sacrificed a lot between the three of us, especially me and Emric. I agree. I think if one of us if, falls, uh, it's probably going to remain that way. Yeah. If Scoria isn't dead, there'll be no peace for any of us. We won't be allowed to just live in harmony. Drakus will be conquered and will likely be tracked down and killed. We He'll could just leave. Off again. Where could we go that she wouldn't follow us? Scoria wouldn't follow us. Scoria would be happy to conquer this land. leave and go where to what end I spent my days drinking and whoring before all this started and uh, you know I had everything I could have wanted I, I lived many years doing as I please with no responsibility I'm not sure I can go back to that not after everything we've been through yeah, especially all we not can after do what is... we've just been through I think all we can do is carry forward. The death of one of us isn't an option. We shouldn't see it that way. Yeah? I agree. Mm -hmm. If it was, we wouldn't have just been to the plains and back to save Anton. But uh, one of us, I hope it's you. <laughs> Anton says jokingly to Imric. <laughs> uh, Imric takes a long drink of the wine and says, uh, I know. <laughs> I hope it's me too. And then take some to drink. <clears throat> okay. And then I'll offer the bottle to the other two. I'll take a good drink. Yeah. Okay, well, that's the plan. Should one of the three brothers fall in combat? We'll bring Jack in. Hey. Steve would get to play what he always was meant to, a single class fighter. He'll Hell yes! <laughs> I get multiple expertise and everything. Yeah, you get big attacks. It's gonna be sick. It's actually better in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> so where last we left the party, Tyrael had leapt from one dra uh, blinked from one dragon to the other. 
made a round of attacks. And made one Scoria, attack, just to be clear. Go ahead. Uh, you had made a f the was one round, round of and then on the next round I made one attack. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Um, or the front half of that round. Meeting. Yeah, this is pretty. Right. This might Scoria be important. Is so. able is able to teleport even though Shine is grappling her. And flying and all that, yeah. We got and that. Fly. Well, first off, they're not grappling. We talked about how they make passes at each other and there are attacks that happen in them. But we're, that, yes, mm -hmm. she can teleport. That's not an issue. Okay. Um, I know the Reddit threads are, are popping off with craziness. Um, but yes, the, the teleport is fine. So where we're going to come in here, um, there's still a half a round of action. True. Material, I hope you know what your actions are because you're going to be appearing in a new place. Cool. Um, and if, you know, as we discuss what's happening in the round, uh, I hope that you are prompt enough with your actions to interrupt if you want to. <laughs> For, wait, hold on. What, are we putting on a timer now? No, 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 no. Just in the be course prompt. of combat, when someone says, you know, the, the enemy does this and then this and then this, by the time you get to like the second or third and then this, you know, it's not great to jump back too far in the past and be like, well, I would have before things go down, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um, I do believe Tyrael's at full hit points. I do believe he is. Yeah. Half a round of like actions to, remaining. I'd like to let it be known that I did cast Sacred Guardian on yeah. Tyrael a while ago, and he should have recitation. Um, I'm Sacred scan, Guardian scan, I'm protection from fire. is one day per level, and it'll tell me if instantly aware when the recipient of the spell is in danger. So Yes, he's in danger. <laughs> okay. A stone skin as well, I believe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stone skin as well. Stone skin. I'm um, protection from fire. Protection from fire. Recitation. <laughs> okay. So these are good you buffs. Should... <laughs> You should probably run now. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I sound like you'd make it sound like I'm pimped out to fight. You I don't know. Out, but you I, are, you are. I sound you pretty strong. I feel pretty yeah. confident right now. It's you just one dragon. Too, right? you, he does yeah. have the iron stone now. He yeah, does. I do. Which one? Which iron stone? The level well, three, or <laughs> else it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. That's okay. I got another one in here, too. True. You are pimped out to fight. Got a lot of, I got a just lot of things on me. Yeah. Kill the wizard and walk the fuck out. That's You're in the Thunderdome. <laughs> let's go. Fight or die. Let's just let's just see where we're at, okay? I can't find my notebook. It was right Ooh, Sounds He's like panicking. Scoria's panicking as soon as we Dude. arrive. Hey, he yeah, you lose out. a round. What? You weren't prepared. You told him to be prepared promptly. <laughs> <laughs> but the notebook has a number of stone skin charges, so I'm just going to go uh, take a quick look for it. I thought it was right here. Okay. Are you ready, Melina's husband? I'm just running. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to try to kill anybody. I'm just going to run. Okay, good. Okay. The only thing that I... So I would have fought normally on the teleport thing, but the only reason I'm not going to is because, like, there's no way I'm about to be teleported into, like, the cock and ball torture chamber. There's no shot that she had to prepare no that she's going to teleport one person, right? You have a blink dagger and you have the... I have a lot of things, but if, he, but if he has, like, a sufficiently... No, no, no I'm not saying fight. No, 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 I know, but I'm just thinking, yeah. like, what if I'm teleported to where, like, there's one box that has, like, forbiddance on it that she throws me into that's, yeah. like, terial shaped <laughs> like. <laughs> no, um, okay. All right, don't forget good. that you have the teleportation candle. Yeah, I, well, that's the only way I can get the yeah, fuck out of here right now. Out, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Whoops. Obama. Well, you haven't taken any physical attacks yet, have you? Um, I took None one of your attack. stone skin charges haven't... You oh, have no, I haven't it. taken any. That is correct. I am right, right, stony. No, no, Rock good. hard my skin is. <laughs> You're hard, bro. Okay, well then. We're just going to uh, write down... You have what spells active on you? Recitation, I believe. I have a lot of... I can read them off if you need me to. Yeah, you've got recitation. I've got stone skin, um, unfailing endurance, sacred guardian, ultra vision, recitation, um, and then I've got the scroll of fire protection. Yep. And right. I have my right now the ion stone out that is the level um, spells up to level four. Okay. Uh, and Imric, 
stone skin yeah. is 1d4 plus 8? Seven. 7. 1d4 plus 7. seven. Yeah. Scoria has, I think I did write down on her character sheet the number of stone skin charges she has. Yes, excellent. Can you take us to the map? <laughs> you yeah. Know? Oh, oh no. no um, <laughs> Steve's like, I don't know. So, Tyrael, yeah. what you up? are teleported. You are forcibly moved in space and time after fail. well, it's in space, after failing your saving throw. After failing? <laughs> Like, I didn't choose to fail that roll, but go ahead. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, it is the same round. You appear over a great lake, standing on a bridge. You oh, are just killer, bro. on Scoria's back. I can't put the model to scale because it won't fit on the map. Scoria is it a fire lake or used... water? No, it's just an ordinary water lake. You can see ice crystals, you know, little ice flows flowing in it because it's the middle of winter right now. The red dragon appears on this gigantic section of widened bridge in the middle of the lake, which stretches miles in either direction, maybe a mile in either direction. Um, I don't think you recognize where this place is immediately, <clears throat> but that's okay because it doesn't matter because Scoria can we read teleport? Going to... Do you reel for a round? You do not that's... reel for a round. But that's her whole round action, right? It absolutely uh, She gets a, a half move at the end, yes. Sure. Just like all other spellcasters. That makes unless sense. Unless it yeah. says specifically otherwise. And she will take that extra half move after casting her spell and plop herself into the water. Oh my gosh. Beneath <clears throat> do you know what's so awkward here? Huh. We're going to have to talk for a moment about this one. So if somebody were to attack me with a physical attack, um, I would be mm -hmm. able to, at will, blink away from that attack. If somebody's mm -hmm. trying to pull me into the water, I imagine I would be able to, at will, blink that as well. Sure, you get one blink per round. Yep. Yeah, so, you can use it. I'm right gonna now go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blink, hop off her, and uh, chill on the bridge. Seems like a more friendly place to be. As the dragon leaps from bridge to water, Tyrael blinks off of the dragon landing comfortably Wait, on the bridge. Wait, I have bridge. a question. Mm -hmm. Does he get an attack of opportunity? Why would he get an attack of opportunity? Because she's leaving dragon. his threat range? Well, I'm leaving her no, threat she's range. not he leaving his instantly. threat range. No, <laughs> no. Well, Blink. you blinked at the thing and then she's jumping down. No <laughs> shot, no, no, no. Nobody's out of attack. No, there. but nice try, Mr. Moon. Way to insert okay. some levity into this situation. Um, and with that, Scoria submerges beneath the waves. Still actually invisible, if you recall. Yeah. Um, yeah. Improved invisibility doesn't actually show. So whoosh, you can see the water begin to splash up and the void that was Scoria plunges beneath it. You get the rest of your round. Um, well, Do you have any other attacks real quick, make? talk to me. How long is this bridge? What does the surrounding areas look like? Are there like mountains oh, yeah. that I would expect to see to the Northwest? Is there snow maybe to the south or north? Do I see any? Yeah, what do I see? Um, you see mountains along mountain range to the northwest. You know, in one direction, you see a single tall mountain in the exact opposite direction. Uh, you're on a bridge. This middle section is stone and especially widened, but on either end, it is a long, sometimes wood, sometimes stone bridge that crosses over what appears to be a huge lake, and you're crossing at the, the very middle point of it. Since you're taking a minute, oh, you know, whoa, a, half whoa, minute whoa. a half minute to judge your Not a minute, I'm just like glancing around really quick. I can glance oh, yeah, and okay. move at the same time. Sure, sure, yeah, then you're just on a bridge. Okay, what is, okay, that's fine. How long to the end of the bridge? Oh, uh, you know, mile in either direction. <laughs> a mile? That's it? Ish? For championship sprinter Tyrael McGarry, I would like to at will activate my Cloak of the Cheetah. Uh-huh. And I will begin and to dash. Spend... And I will pull from my um I will pull from my bag and release into the air around me my Ion Stone number twelve. <clears throat> I think that's probably all I can do for that round. So you've already uh, made an attack this round. One attack. Right. Yeah. Your round is um on the attack phase. You're mm -hmm. activating your cloak is not a problem. Yep. Grabbing an extra item out of your bag on a round that is dedicated to attacking. Mm. Ordinarily, I would agree. Like, I can't grab and drink a potion. I couldn't unsheathe mm -hmm. the sword. 
and I couldn't interact with an item. But to just, I believe the ironstones will let you pull them and you just release them. That seems like mm -hmm. a pretty simple for concerning I mean, if it's in your backpack on your back that's a different question if it's in like a little hip pouch that's a you know where where the stones are kept plays a big role in your ability to access them right oh shit. If you have to yeah you change that rule on us and open your bag and everything well hold on this so this is Okay, I'm gonna. I'll let you decide on this. I'm gonna let you decide on this, okay? Because it's Thank your. Because you. it's your. It's your campaign and everything, okay? So prior to the being in it's the dungeon, our it is our comrade. campaign. True. But it's your big moment, though. True. Now, isn't it? Prior to prior to being in that dungeon, I believe we'd never spoken about like taking packs off to interact with items before. We'd always been able to get like um, uh, light stones and everything like very easily, like without ever having to interact, which is fine. We changed that. But well, for a long time, you had a bag of holding that was at your side, and then now you have bags of holdings that are backpacks. Like, well, I think this is—I think this change. is the same bag of holding that I believe we stole from a castle guard, like at episode twenty. You're wearing the thousand-pound glacier backpack now. Oh, is it a glacier back? Well, no, I thought that guy if had a thousand-pound one, doesn't a, he? Didn't he? No, no, no. If it's a thousand pounds, it's a glacier one. The guy had a two hundred and fifty-pound backpack. Oh, but still, but still, it was a backpack, right? I thought no, it always was, was a, a, his was specifically like a okay, okay, okay fine, gotcha, like gotcha. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, yeah. regardless, we there did the change up in back race, but we didn't talk about the difference in like taking things out. If it is the case that like these backpacks are harder to like reach in or whatever, I do believe there would be an argument that I would be keeping um, stones like in my in my pockets or in a satchel to the side because I would That's no, fine. yeah okay. Because if you're just talking about the ion stones, you could shove that, you know, in a shirt. Yeah. You know, well, I guess there's not much room with all your dragon scale on, but yeah. If you were gonna say that you had preemptively stored your stones in a si in a pocket rather than in your bag of holding, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Could you oh. DM me personally where Scory is? Because Anton would immediately check to see if he can, you know, take. Sure Don't even out. tell him. Don't even tell him. Just he might DM tell me. me he, he's a him. cheater. I, I, no, I'm I just kidding. He him. wouldn't tell me. Or if you want, I'll, I'll declare my intentions first so that you know we're not cheating. Because my goal is going to be to run to the end of this bridge and to pull out my candle and try to tell we're back to Bontheris, I believe is where we were, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be my yeah. goal, so. But, okay. okay, but anyway, yeah, so I'm out. I just want to reach into my pocket. I'll release the second Ion Stone, number 12, that uh, absorbs spells up to 8th level. Okay, activate my uh, since, run. Yeah. Since you did say that, uh, mm -hmm. since this is the end of your round, I will say that you can either move or you can pull out the stone. If you're doing a full round, you could probably take out the stone in half an action and run for half an action. But since this is like the second half of your round after teleporting and all this other jazz, like stone or run, what do you want to do? If I run, how far can I run right now? You can make a half move. Um, your movement I... rate is 12. No. You don't have magic boots on, right? He has magic boots. He has, he has the same tough. boots that I do. He should be at speed 24. Um, really? And it, yeah. I've got the sandals the of, speed, of speed, I think, don't I? I've got yeah, the sandals of speed, speed, I think. Oh. Okay. Boots, boots of speed, speed sets your uh, movement to 24. Okay. Right? That's a question. Yes, that's boots. what my movement is on my character okay. sheet. I don't have oh, cool. the item exactly. Okay. But no, no, that yeah, is but what my I movement just, is. Because the sandals of speed set your movement rate to 18, 18. permanently. Mm -hmm. The boots of speed, I thought, yeah, give you 24 boo base movement. For every 10 pounds, uh, it's slowed by one. Every hour of continuous fast movement, you must rest. No more than eight hours of continuous fast movement are possible before you... Okay, so the boots of speed are more like, um, how do you want to say? The sandals of speed just set your movement rate. The boots of speed are activatable to increase your, your movement speed. Yeah. And Cloak of the Cheetah interacting with Three the boots times. of speed. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. Seems fine to me. Um, so 24, you could go 240 yards and around if you were running. <laughs> um, half that would be 120 yards in a round, and then with the Cloak of Cheetah, it would be times three, so 360 yards would be your max movement gotcha. if you bolted immediately and had yeah. your full half move and didn't do anything else. Um, okay, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to run first. Okay. You go 360 yards. Yeah. Do you want to go left or right? Um... 
What do I see any like mountains to the left or is there anything noticeable at the end of the bridge? I'm not running into a giant fucking dragon scoria keep on some side, right? Just briefly. No, like, no, no. What's... It's early in the day. Um, down on either side of the bridge, you can see there are some creatures somewhere on the bridge. It's a log bridge, you know. Um, but you don't see any large military formations. There are some mountains in the distance in each direction. Um, at this point, I don't even think you know exactly which way is north. You're well, I should know which way is bridge. north. So I see the sun coming up. Its sun rises in the east, That's right? That's true. That's true. Yes, it should be. Yeah, it's a nice, clear morning. You can see left is to the east, right is to the west. I'm sorry, other way around. Left is to the west, right is to the east. And right is where which the sun is coming up. Yep. Um, yep. Come on. I think I'm running right. You go run into the right. You run into the sun. Yeah, that's what I do. By 360 yards. Okay. Next round. Um, I just have to. The the other person gets around. The wizard on the back of Scoria takes a turn, or actually their turn is interrupted since they were using a wand effect, and it's all yeah gone to hell in a handbasket now. Okay. Yeah, it's next round. Uh, next round, I'm 360 yards away. Um, if I'm pulling the ion stone from my pocket, is this like a full action or? Um, I think you can grab the ion stone with a half move, a half action, like we had said last round. So well, you can attack. You can attack and make a half move. So if it's a half action, how much movement can he get? If it's a, ha a half move. So it's like a, it's like a whole it's a whole action to get the iron stone. Then like it, like it would be like making a full it, round of attacks. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a half move action to grab out the iron stone and pull it out and use it, or you know, toss it in the air. What's the difference between that and getting something from my backpack if I'm uncontested? Should be the exact same um, then, no? Well, if you're gonna grab something from your backpack, it's gonna be like slinging your backpack off, taking a knee, opening it up. You're gonna be more or less dropping your guard. Um, I would say that, you know, um, it would provide a greater opening for your enemies. Um, but effectively, right now, backpack, there's no difference. Have, like, a okay, that's initiative, fine. Initiative, then grabbing something from your pocket. I'm, remo I'm um, releasing that ion stone into the air, and then I'm continuing to run another 360 yards. Okay. And this ion stone, the number of ion stones that you have out now are numbers 21 and 13, or what? Well, no, they're, it's number 11 and 12. 11 and 12. 11 and 12, okay. I think 21 might be the light stone, and that's what I have out. Um, I've got 20 is continual light, light, but you, yeah, you that's took... That's what I have yeah. How long did you say this on. bridge was across? So I moved about a little over 2,000 feet at this point. Yeah, it's about a mile in either direction since you're in the very middle of it, which will put you halfway to the other side-ish. Base, no. No. Okay. Excellent. Um, let's roll initiative. Plus three for running? Uh, the magic item interaction is going to be the larger part of his initiative. Let me see what that is. That's got to be a plus three for pulling something out of my pocket. It's probably a three or a four. I can't remember. Um, da, 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 da. Miscellaneous magical item is three. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I thought that was Scory. I was like, oh. No, yeah, no. It's like, where's the plus 12, dog? Hello, Scoria. There we go. And want to roll in for you over here. And you're at six. And okay. And our writer has the writer's fine. Excellent. Um, great. So, Tyrael bolts. I have a question. What? Did the magician... Never mind, that's stupid. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He... That is done. Yeah. All right, Tyrael runs. As you pull out the stone, toss it above your head, 
put your pack away and then keep bolting down the, the bridge here, you can hear the sound of dripping water and the roar of Scoria behind you. Um, you can't see the creature, of course, and I don't think you're looking back over your shoulder, but you do hear her exit the water and um, Loser. you do hear the sound of flapping wings. Cool. Next round. Rolling again, double bro. Check. I need to check some spell timings that I lost when I couldn't find my notebook. Um, mm. God, it would have been so. I actually, I should be able to blink at, blink at the end of both at the first round or the second round for 15 more feet of movement. Yeah, you can get an extra okay. 15 feet of movement. Thanks, Pebu. Fine. Fuck you. Did you activate your cloak of invisibility or your ring of invisibility? No, I don't have that on. Oh, okay. Okay, and this is this many. I was only cast at fourteen. Emmerich not being there for Scoria dying would have been so fucking funny, though. It almost makes me want to turn around. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Just slept through it. Just had a little sleep. Oh no, Tyrael, the day before, I just finished watching the first Matrix when Morpheus is telling Neo to run and he turns around in the subway. <laughs> okay, next round of initiative. You cannot see the dragon, but you can hear the wings beating and you can hear the sound of her roaring. Cool. Is she speaking at all to him or just roaring? She's just. She's at a metal concert, you know? Yeah. She's doing what she does best. Gotcha. Makes sense. And our spellcaster. We got next turn now, or? Yeah, yeah, next round, because you got okay. your, your second round full of movement. Mm -hmm. um, nice. Yeesh. <clears throat> it would take, it would, okay, it would take one more. Can she take from? Can she jump off and fly from water? I don't know. I... That's a lot of. That's all right. You know, she's that, strong. Well, I could I could argue that, <laughs> but that's hard. Also, you don't really know what she's doing. I don't want to get into no details. Idea. Yeah. She like, might have a spell on. Okay. And... She might have a ring yeah, of free action. Of actually, stuff. ring of free action dragon should be able to just fly through water. So yeah, you don't know. That actually yeah. seems fine. Yeah. You don't know. Okay, and where is? Anton looks at China's as Tyrael uh, teleports away, and he just starts rapping. <laughs> Why? What do you say? It's, he just he starts rapping at, at Shine, you know? Just 1d20 <laughs> plus 7. Let's do a charisma check. Hold on. See how good it is. Yikes. Not that good. Oh, my brother's dead. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Okay. Let my wife out the shed. Get me some head. Why? Why are you guys like this? Because he's abusing his wife, isn't he? That's the joke. Wow, that's funny to you. Yeah, well, a man yeah. is abusing his wife, and you're laughing. <laughs> I find it's an imaginary right. mob. Yeah. All right, Tyrael. Mm -hmm. You've run. Wife. What did you do? You've run 360 yards. Whoa, 720 no, no, yards. Twice. Yeah, yeah, 720 yards. Plus an extra 15 feet for the blink. So. Right. Like 720 725 times. yards. Three plus. 15 uh, feet. 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, but there was two rounds of... of well, no, actually, the first one was... Yeah, I blinked onto the bridge, okay. yeah. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. So 725 yards. 175 feet. You're, you know, halfway from the middle point to the shore over there. You can see that there's a town in the distance. The sun is sort of silhouetting it against you. There's a bunch of smoke rising from the town. Too much smoke. This is, like, far more than chimney smoke. This town's in serious trouble. Uh, but that's okay. Who cares? Ooh, smoky you town. Sounds like I'm in mystery. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You win initiative. What are you going to do? Okay. If I'm in Mistria, because I see a burning town, and I assume she's burning her towns down, half action to move my backpack over and grab two candles. Yes? Uh, yeah. You, you stop yourself on the bridge. You pull your backpack over. You do my half it, action. You reach in, yeah. These are all very quick your, things. Two candles. Uh, you've, that means you've sheathed your, your dagger somewhere, right? Your double fisting candles. Sure, Koibu. Yeah. yeah. You say so. Yeah, yeah. Cool. No, I just want to make sure that we know, you know, what's in your hands. At yeah, any given moment. got my thing, and then I will. Um, Which candles? 
I have a Babylon candle of teleportation, and I have a snap candle of snaps and the fire thing turns on. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 <clears throat> and I will light the candle and think of happier places. How do you light the candle? With the snap candle. It turns on. Yeah, but your hands are full. I pull two you... candles in one hand and I okay. snap my fucking Thank finger. Thank you. Just be <laughs> elegant with your my words, bad. my friend. Okay. My bad. I'm so sorry. All right. So you Can win I... initiative. Yeah. You I rolled did. a three, right? And, oh, um, you... Yeah, Perfect. I did. Yeah. And I'm actually going to teleport to... Um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but it's the it's the place that we go um, north from. It's the city north of Wicthron Rarentha. Oh, uh, Fendon? Yeah, Fendon, I think. That's not a destroyed that's city, That's the one that's it? just barely north of it. Then there's a, a fully destroyed city called Rolwick, and there's a fully destroyed city called Bridgegate. Well, if it's fully destroyed, I don't want to go there. But okay. I'll do like, I just, yeah, I want to teleport to Fendon, because I don't know if I'll make it all the way to Bontheris or whatever, okay. from Mistria. And your initiative is four, Great. not six. So you do beat the rider who would otherwise interrupt you. Nah, um, you close no, your, you snap nah, your fingers, you hold nah. your candles together. You think of Fenden? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, that is how these things work. How large is your candle? It has four inches remaining, which is 400 miles of movement. Oh, that should be more than enough, right? I would hope so. Let's Let's find out. Because you were next to bridge light and oh, yes. oh he's he's light. Light. yeah, he's two chill. inches Oof. burn off your candle. It comes down to two remaining. Oh, you could have um, made it. And as you begin to vanish from one place, the bridge in front of you begins to collapse under the weight of the dragon. <clears throat> the magic missiles fired by the spellcaster do not collide with you, since you are now way, way too far away to be reached, and you are successfully away from the temporary danger. Cool. Back in Solwick. Imrik. I stretch. Uh, oh, I accept the glass of wine that the servant has brought me. <laughs> I take Loser. it. I drink. And I, uh, That's your, I your second my... glass this morning, my lord. <clears throat> Would you like some I water with that? I don't pay you for your opinion, sir. I'll bring me the bottle. And I open right, my right, book right, and right, I lord. keep reading. Uh, and I think this is a rather curious spell. I do hope my, my brothers are doing okay. Um, I should probably check on them when I get to the end of the page. Um, so I think at some point I'd probably use the crystal ball like to check in. Bring Shine back to Soulwork. I, I think Imric is assuming that they've not engaged with Scoria, and maybe that town is burning on Dundasir. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll, but I'll probably get nervous after like another thirty minutes and check on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, you know, before you get to that point, um, yeah, Anton. You can feel Tyrael is in danger. And then all of a sudden, he's no longer in danger. Let me ask you, Anton McGarry, as you're flying back to Solwick, and Tyrael, who teleported away with the dragon and then is no longer in danger, how can you tell the difference between him being safe and him being dead with this, uh, you know, sacred guardian? Uh, it was about two minutes <clears throat> that he was in danger and then he was out of danger. Mm -hmm. So... He's either dead or he's safe. I would probably mm -hmm. guess that he's probably safe at this point. Because Scory would take a lot longer than two minutes to kill Tyrael. Um, he has the fire really? protection. <laughs> yeah, he's got wow. the fire protection thing, so the breath weapon can't insta kill him. Um, he's got stone skin still. Mm -hmm. He's got the ion stone. Okay. Yeah. But the only thing that we can do is go back to Imric to Crystal Ball and scry. I saw where Scoria was. She's in mm -hmm. bridge light or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. There is no way that we can get to him without Imric, so. All roads lead to Imric. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> you head I'll back keep to I'll watching Solvik. where Scoria is, I guess, on the flight. Uh, yep. She Scoria resides North. in the bridge light area for a little while and before taking off and heading back towards Dragon Peak. That's right. You will arrive back in Solwick. A few hours later, Imric will be done with his spell learning and will have scried upon which party member? Um, Roll a d3. Probably Tyrael. D3? Is he going to scry on himself? Me, Tyrael, Shen. Loser. Yeah. I think I scry on uh, Tyrael. Yeah, you scry on Tyrael. I think you have like a near 100% success with this. Probably 100%. Um, mm -hmm. 
that definitely because you succeeded before. So yeah, you find Tyrael walking through the streets of Fenden, a town you recognize. Dirty roads, the cobblestones have been sort of torn mm-hmm. up with all the traffic and whatnot happening on it. Small Lots thatched strange. roofs, a little bend in the I, river. I don't see Shine with him, so I, I probably wave it away and then trek on Anton. He's probably like coming up the stairs outside the room that I'm actually in. Something like that, yeah. Uh, you find Anton walking through the castle in Solwick. What the fuck? Anton wouldn't be walking. Anton would be rushing, I'd say. He'd be curious of what the fuck's going on. All right. Curiously yeah, I think, yeah. He's, he's yeah. over there, like, shaking a guard. Like, where's Imric? Yes, yes. So Imric stands up and goes to the door, like, swings the door open and goes, like, down the hall to look for Anton. Anton, are you here? Imric, you need to surround Tyrael as quickly as possible. He's, Scoria teleported he, him away. He's in Fen... He's in Fenden. What? Well, Did we you were... fight her? Heroically fighting Scoria in the air of Bon Theris. What are you doing? You can't fight her without me. <laughs> what? What do you want? You wanted to just destroy Bon Ther- or Bon Dundasir? You put me to sleep and then you just leave. I left you a note. I know, but <laughs> come in, come in. I think he's okay. Look, I've still got it up. I'll pull you over to the crystal ball, and uh, we can follow probably following Terrell as he walks through the streets. Come on, we gotta get to Shine. We gotta go to Fenden. Okay, let's go. I'll check where Scoria is now, still bridge light. On, on her way, she's you know above the... What's that plane's name? Um, she's above Sun Don't Lake, tell me East near Hedimo. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's somewhere over here. Okay. That's, that's better. Um, should we teleport to Fenden? Do you have a... Um, I can teleport to Wicktron or Enter, and then we can fly there if you want. Let's do that. Shine can't teleport with us, right? No. We need to get to Tyrell and make sure that, you know... Well, just in case Scoria does anything crazy, she can teleport now, so let's go. Uh, yeah, okay. I teleport us to Wicktron or Enter. I tell Shine that we're, where we're going and Tyrell's yeah, safe. Yeah, you and go. Meet us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tyrael, Fenden, and Withron Renta are 15 miles apart on road. You can be in Withron Renta by the end of the day on foot. Me? Or if you... Yeah, you. I don't know where, yeah. where you're headed. I'm running to Withron Renta. Yeah. Yeah, you're the fastest right. man I'm alive. The, I'm the fastest <laughs> fuck boy. 24 speed, I think, constantly, right? Kind of. Uh, for a couple hours, and then it slows down, and you have to... Re- you can get there by, yeah. well before the day's out. I will get there. Um, so our party will gather together again in the capital. Shine will be here in a day or so. Um, That's a big win for us, though. Um, yeah, I will like immediately once we all get together. Like, tell me what happened. Uh, Scoria started attacking Shine out of the air. Um, Scoria was improved invisibility. They clashed for a moment. Tyrael blinked over, got on Shine's or Scoria's back, and started stabbing her. Um, I tried to yeah, cast a spell on Scoria, it failed. What but spell? Tyrael caused some real damage. I tried to do command monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I couldn't really get I couldn't really get to her, but And Tyrael, did you draw blood? Um yes, I draw my dagger out and it is coated, dripping even, with the blood of the legendary red dragon Scoria. To look smart, I will like pull out a glass beaker and like collect some of the, uh, the blood off the dagger. Is there anything we can do with it or no? I'll have to do some tests. I'm not sure. Okay. There's not much blood no to blood. be left. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's been hours, right? It's been many, many hours. Uh, whatever blood is there has been dried on the dagger. You can collect some you know, dried scraps, but there it's, I'll it's just me. little flecks. Listen, I'll I can do. rehydrate them. That's fine. Okay. Well, and so what? She teleported with you? Uh, with me? Yeah. Uh, it seems that uh, the gods have seen fit to make it possible such that people can Offensive. teleport now with other people attached to them. <laughs> it's a crazy you world we live in. Um, I did indeed. I think probably about two Thank inches God. left on the wick. We save up. Why not? Well, I'm glad you're okay. That was foolish to attack her like that when we went all together. Well, we had to do a show of force. I imagine the uh, the people of our kingdom must be just astounded at the power of the McGarry's that Scoria could come in for an attack 
and we could directly fend her off and cause her to retreat from the cities like no warriors have before, I'm sure. Arcadia hasn't twice. seen a king like Tyrell Magari for centuries. A real hero. I don't know if Scory will think about doing that again. I would assume not. She knows that she can be beaten. You know, now I'm thinking about it. I know that we were planning to be cautious, I say, looking at the two of you, but we should have attacked her when she was outside Bontheris. The three of us together, we could have got the... We could have chose the time, chose the place. <laughs> I mean, I we shrug, and I say the scary thing is, in a world like this, uh, he who is prepared is the one who is prepared to take the day. If uh, Scoria had 20 riders with magic missile scrolls on her back, we might true. be instantly yeah. wiped from existence. I don't know if it's worth it to... It's true. Yeah. I suppose very, you're right. Very wise, brother. But if she tries something like that again, I think we should seize her opportunity. We do need a reliable way to get through the invisibility. Anton, can't you cast True Seeing? Um, I think I might. Yeah, I can now, actually. How long does that last? <laughs> One round per level. Is that anything that There's like do? so many like amazing buff spells that I need to cast. I might yeah. be able to cast Omniscient Eye, which I think can get through it, but I'm not sure. I'd have to read. Yeah, we need some way of countering that. I mean, there's like Glitter Dust spell. Wait, what and about that dust that King Gilda had? We don't have any. What happened to that? He used it. Wait, we, what happened to what? The dust that King Gilda blew on you. Oh. Yeah, wait, did we ever loot any of that? Or did he have exactly two castings? He had... Didn't I give you a dump of all the things that you picked up in that room? Yeah, but there was yeah, no mention of that dust. Although the dust might... Is that a magical item or just a spell component or something of a spell? It's a magic item. Um, if, you, if I didn't say you got any dust, then he must have used all of his dust in the fight. Gotcha. Well, it's, uh, um, I can cast Omniscient Eye on myself, which will give me a 73 plus 1% per level chance. Okay, well, that's something. Let's see it. Um, but yeah, it's not a perfect solution. Tyrell, I suppose you've got your ring, right? Um, which... maybe in the heat of battle. Uh, My ring of true sight? Use a... Yeah. Sure. What is this to find her when she's well, invisible? Yeah. Um, yeah, was, what is the counter to greater invisibility? A bag of flour. Is it, can that be reliably used against a dragon in the middle of combat, outside in the open, flying through the no. air? Yeah. I mean, true saying, right? Is the counter? Or true seeing like is a big in, counter. Invisibility I can, perch is another one. I, I can cast true seeing. It's just one round per level, so it'll hit us for about thirteen levels. Wait, or 13 us? Minutes? Is it like an yeah, AOE? One spell? creature. Oh, no, I wish. No. It's one person. It's not great. Wait, what, the range level, what level is one hundred and twenty feet? Fifth level. How many other I will, level I, clerics are there? Just you or what? It's pretty much just me here, yeah. What about yeah, the, like, you need to be ninth level to cast True Seeing. Just me, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's a sixth level spell. I could make scrolls, but... You need a, a twelfth level cleric to cast it. Cause it's a sixth level, not a fifth level spell. Yeah. And anything that's rounds per level, the action economy is too fucked. I might have it in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah if I you have it in you fifth, know. it needs to go to sixth. No, you, you do have it in fifth. Oh, no, yeah, it, oh, I it do should get it be in 6th level. No, no, it no. should be 6th level spell. Are you sure? Because on my Velthara spell sheet, it says 5th level. Um, Here? I'm seeing it... Control of true seeing? Really? <laughs> yeah, I just go. I usually oh. just go by this for Anton, so I'm. if it's wrong, I can fix it. But No, 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 I'm sorry, there's um, a wizard version that is 6th level, and I think that's what okay. I'm looking at. Yeah, my mistake, you're good. Sorry to interrupt. Go for it. Um. Yeah, so we need to figure out how to counter improved invisibility on Scoria. There's no, like, there's, like, spell, like, detect invisibility, I suppose, that I could learn, but it's kind of like Magic Missile, I think, where it's, like, a 10-foot path. So it's not exactly, like, ideal. And even then, it's only five rounds per level. Which is... Ryan, what spells level. do you have? Do you have Glitter Dust? Uh, Shine's on her way here. If you want to start skipping days again, then we can no, talk to Shine. No, 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 no. No, I've no. got glitter. I've got glitter dust, but I think that it works into magic resistance. Let me read it. Um, 
Yeah, it almost certainly will run into magic resistance. All of this will. Except Bard of glittering golden particles. Those in the area must roll a successful saving throw versus spell will be blinded. In addition, all within the area are covered by the dust, which cannot be removed and continues to sparkle until it fades. Note that this reveals invisible creatures. Uh, maybe it wouldn't, then. What do you say, Neil? certainly. Th well, <clears throat> that would run into the ruling that we've talked about before, right? It's just dust. It's not... Like, the magic makes the dust. I don't know that the dust is imposing any magic itself. It's not like glitter dust dispels invisibility, but it clings to the outside of yeah. the target. So it's not <clears throat> really a interacting with a person. It doesn't physically... The blindness would yeah. be, um, be saved against and have magic resistance against, but the dust doesn't actually affect the person. It just sticks to their outside. Okay. So this well, wouldn't that's... be a wall of fire situation where she gets to dispel magic on a check, right? She would be able to resist the blindness for sure. Yeah. I'm just worried about like her getting magic resistance. Which I I don't think so. I think let me double check the magic resistant text one more time. Okay, well, I always, I'm, I've had that on my spell list this whole time, so yeah, I no, think that is, that is an option, though. Um, might be difficult and to cast yards it yards per level, 13 yards, you'll have it for. It's a casting time of two, which is real good. Is it in an area, and then it'll stick on the person? Yeah, I think so. I think she might get magic just Right, because magic, it's a 20-foot cube, so you wouldn't reveal all of Scoria. You would reveal a 20-foot cube of her. So if you cast That's it on true. her head, you'd see her head, but not the rest of her body. If you cast it on her midsection, you still wouldn't see the head. So if you, like, ended up yeah. casting it on her body, you would know where she is, but her head would still strike from invisibility at plus four. That's true, that, yeah. That's fine, yeah. But if you but, get it on her head, then her back legs won't really matter. Her tail might get additional plus four. Mm -hmm. But at least you'd know where she is. At least you'd see the head somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what we need, so. Yeah. Okay. I guess well. we're all walking back from Fenden. Um, any peasants see us? Call out. Oh, wait. Yeah. Did you get oh, you guys? guys are in the capital. Oh, we're in the capital. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyrael does the Fenden jog, run, walk. Um, there are plenty of people to see you mm. in town. Especially Tyrael as he comes back in, well, clanging with gear. What are we thinking then? Should I continue building my teleport stands across the cities? I still think we need to be able to respond quickly. Or maybe... maybe um, we're we going to need go another now. fire protection scroll. I don't think we go now. I think we just continue as planned. Oh, um, you used it. Okay. Yeah, Tyrael did use it. So we, can you hand me the other one? Me? Do I have two? You had two, you had two made. I'm you almost 99% sure? sure. Let me check my card sheet. <laughs> I feel like I only made one, but. I feel like Quibi said you got two done and then you were working on your third, but I could be mistaken. Oh, well, I see two scrolls finished and one interrupted. Oh, okay. So I've still got one. Yeah, I give it to one something. Anton will take it. I'll give it to Serial. <laughs> um, the scroll of fire protection? Yeah. Okay. Continue as planned. Make another scroll. Keep your teleportation circles going. And let's skip some time, if that's okay yeah. with Tyrael as well. I need more time, but I'll uh, I'll focus. Once I've got the scrolls up, I'll focus on the perimeter so we can uh, move around. I don't think we should do what we did last time. Like I don't think we should follow her along the coast. I think we should just keep an eye on her and yeah. react. I agree. Orbs teleporting to one spot. If she I think we should just of town. follow along. Yeah. No, I. I disagree, actually. Ish. Ish. Um, like we can't all stay on shine, and I can't stay in the air. Here, here's just forever. something that we consider from a strategic from a strategic point of view. Okay, we can never do the same thing twice without having some difference between the first and second time. Because if we do the same thing twice and next time she's got a more clever trap prepared, then it's over. Mm -hmm. So if we do want to resist her or counter her, we're going to need some other way to um, be ready for it. That teleport spell, would my, um, would this eighth level ion stone prevent me from being taken with her? Do you know? Yeah. As long as and she's 
If she's casting the spell, then yeah, the Ion Stone would stop you. Stop. It should stop the spell, I think. How do you feel about this? Stop it affecting you. Scory is in East Voden, like going to attack Bon Theris. What if we just teleported straight to like her near her lair? I think that's risky. It, she teleport the, back, right? Well, then she's out of our area. Yeah, but then what? Like, so we teleport near our lair, outside yeah. of the anti-teleportation zone. What do we do then? Um, if she stays there. Yeah. Let's say we she could stays. assault the. We could assault Dragon's Peak. So what? We run half an hour into the anti-teleportation zone, and then she TP's back. Is the whole Wormwood anti-teleportation? I think so. The entirety of it. I think that is if Scoria shows her face again in the Bowden Plains, then we should attack her. I think we can win a straight fight at this point. I know she'd be with our wizard, maybe. With we would wizard. absolutely win a straight fight in an open yeah. field. There's no question yeah. asked. I, I think then, yeah, we can we can fly at her with Scory, uh with Shaw. So let's not let's not let her make the same mistake twice. I think that's okay. Okay, um, if no one disagrees, then we're gonna skip some time. Emmerich's gonna make another scroll and scrolls, start I putting. Think make, right? I think you can afford one since it's AoE. If we have two at every time, it'd be fine, right? It's up to you. I'm just worried about us getting like split up. Split up? I feel like all it's of us completely have up to scroll you. on us. Yeah. I'm gonna make three. Right, I'm gonna make two more. He'll make two more and then he'll set up his anti teleportation stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the plan for the morning. Yep. And everyone beds down, goes to I sleep. I check where Scory is before night. Dragon Peak. Cool. Come morning, Anton, you are you do your morning ritual of checking on Scoria, yes. and she's no longer in Dragon Peak. Instead, she is somewhere above the Iron Bark Grove. Oh shit! Here we go again. I tell Tyrael and Dimmer. Where's right here. Wait, where is Ironbark again? Uh oh, I Fuck, see. she's coming south again. Yeah. <laughs> Koibi really wants this one to end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we've got one scroll at least. We got one scroll. Uh, wait, what um, scroll? Of fire protection. Oh, oh yeah, we still have that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to Shine. Shine, what spells do you have right now? Shine. Where is her character sheet? Uh, the same spells that she has every day. Charm person, identify, to locate objects, spectral force, suggestion, stone skin, remove curse, stone shape, hold monster, enchant item, project image, sacred guardian, command, restore strength, and zone of truth. she have any other spells or is that it? That, uh, that's that's what, she what she's got. Got it. Um, I don't have dimensional anchor. Do we have it on a... It wouldn't even work. It's just not gonna work. I, I mean, I think that we just have to go and meet her again. Um, yeah, I think we do. Can I'm we all take go um, a like few, just... uh, like two or three different spells, oh, though? Yeah, that's it. Um, I do believe the brothers still need to memorize spells. Any spells that you've burned, you have not necessarily regained, right? I don't uh, Imric, you had started memorizing spells yesterday when you were with your brothers. Uh, or actually, you were napped in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah, you you got had napped started was... to remember a couple of spells. Then you teleported, because I assume that was the first one you memorized, back to Wickthron Renta. Um, and then this morning, both of you would start off... Would go to memorize your spells, but not have any memorized. So whatever I... you've already burned, you have missing, yeah? There's been yeah, no that's... opportunity to relearn them? That's fine. I only used like three spells last episode, so that's everything great. on my sheet hasn't been added. Yeah. I Wait, why don't I have an opportunity to memorize in the morning? Uh, because it takes a certain amount of time, and I thought you guys said you were about to hop on your dragon and fly away. Well, I think, I think spells can... are incredibly important, and they're only above the iron bark, so if it's fine... Sure. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, let yeah. me know how many hours you want to spend memorizing spells. However long Emric needs, I, I don't care. I, I only need like like an hour and a half, two hours. I yeah, that'll be way more yesterday. than. Yeah, Great. that's more than I need. Great. Yeah, we take an hour. Then. Hour and a half, two hours. I'm gonna add like that. two six-level spells. It'd be like an hour. 
Mm-hmm. Well, nah. yeah. Uh, two six level spells is two hours. two hours. Each one is uh, 10 minutes per level. Oh, okay. I'll okay. just take one. I actually have, wait. I need to read Learn Stone Skin, so it's actually two hours 40 I need. Okay. That's fine. We know shot. We know Scoria's movements in the past, and it's been pretty slow. We'll wait to. Can you tell me where Scoria is at an hour later from the Ironbark Grove? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, as last time, she goes about 12 and a half miles an hour, uh, taking a nice, slow, casual flight, riding the thermals, not exhausting herself, keeping herself ready. So, um, you know, two hours later, she's about 24 miles south of the Ironbark Grove. That's fine. I think we should fight on in East Vodon. I think maybe we should like hide in Old Vodon or something like that and spring an attack from there. I mean, presumably she'll probably know where we are, but or maybe we just stay close enough to Bontheris, maybe in the flatwoods on the other side of the river. Is she really going to fly up and attack again, like she just did? Seems like she is. I, I think she, she's if done. she's stupid, if she's stupid enough to come in the planes, I think we should make a move. Your camera's a little fuzzy. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can fix it. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. I mean, we go. We hop on try and we go slowly. So where are you going? We're gonna go to the flatwoods. Yeah. You're gonna go flatwoods. Okay. Well. By the time you arrive um, in Bontheris, Scoria has moved. She is just over here. She's just off the coast of East Voden, the southern coast. How long could we get? How long would it take us to get to her? It's like twenty-five miles. Well, this is the thing. Um, it depends on her movements and your movements. If she continues a nice casual glide without having to worry about anything. Um, you know, you might be able to catch up to her in, if you, if you, let me rephrase. If she continues a slow glide and you go for a hard flap, which is what we're definitely calling dragons moving at max speed, um, you could meet up with her in an hour or so, probably somewhere over the ocean. Well. If you can find her. Do you want to live forever? I say we attack. Well, I'll go on my steed. You guys go on shine. We'll stay close together. Once we're in range of it, I'll cast haste on us. And then we just go. Shine, sure, shine affected by the dragonfire few... breath? No. <clears throat> the issue is, is what if Scoria teleports away again? Well, she probably will. But, you know, we can do a lot of damage. Actually. But the issue is we're losing our... Wait a well, second. Our, wait a second. Uh, wait yeah, a second. Hold on. Question. When you teleport somebody that's touching you, you choose to like bring them along, or is it just everybody touching you? What do we? What? How do we rule on that for Square teleporting us? You decide of the things that you were holding on to what you want to teleport with you. So that way, you can never fail the weight limit. What do you mean? So like, let's say let's say Shine is purposefully grappling Scoria. Mm -hmm. Scoria can just teleport away. Yeah, she doesn't have to take Shine with her. Yeah. Well, she doesn't. In, she doesn't take shine with her, right? You, when you teleport, you don't teleport the earth with you, even though you're touching the earth. Yeah, but right? the earth isn't a being. If right? I, whatever. If, if you're standing on a, a person, you don't have mm -hmm. to teleport with them. You teleport yourself and whatever you want to teleport that you're touching. Mm -hmm. um, and assuming that everything's within the weight limit, it just executes flawlessly. If I am on her and she tries to teleport, and the ironstone blocks the teleport, would I just not get teleported, or would it block the entire teleport? That, that's a very good question. Good How question. would you decide? How would you find out that information? <clears throat> we could test I it. advise that I think that it would stop the spell entirely. Because it's a spell targeted at you. It should be absorbed by the Ion Stone. I don't think we can test it, because clearly the Ion Stones are limited in use, so... The issue is, is if we use our scroll of fire protection and Scoria teleports away again, we have no recourse. We have nothing to protect us from fire anymore. There is no breath, more breath weapon protection, albeit in three weeks. Yeah, Emmerich? Yeah, I agree. No, six days. Six days. 
Maybe, uh, she probably would teleport away. Maybe we try and kill the wizard. Wait, why, how can we kill the wizard if she teleports away? Well, he'll die quick, right? Knock him off. Chase him oh, you're assuming water. we can knock him off first or whatever? Or Well, maybe. I just think that he'll die pretty quick. He's a wizard. Right? He's we, I mean, if we ever get the chance to get... If we get close enough to him, yeah, he's dead almost instantly, for sure. There are spells I can cast that would just be a dice roll. <laughs> Dispel evil can send her back to her plane permanently. Yeah. Same thing, I think, with dimensional translocation. But I, I think, think that's only evil, for a few to, rounds. I have to touch her and know her name. Her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Up to you guys. I'm cool with fighting it. Um, I just don't know what we do if we lose the breath weapon scroll. People will just start to... Like, cities will just die and be attacked. I think... Okay, here's what I think then. If we fail to kill her, we lose the scroll. During those six days... You guys defend a city on foot in the city. Don't engage in the air. If she wants to attack the defense of the city, then take it. Otherwise, if it's an undefended town, you've just got to let it happen. Let's try it. So our party's in Bontheris. Scoria is over East Voden. And no, we you are said doing she's in the what? water, right? You said she's in yeah, the water. she's in the water southeast of southeast of East Voden. Yeah, okay. So I think I cast, right? I'm just sounding this out for the party. I'm going to cast my steed spell, so that gives me 18 hours. Then we're going to fly together. To... Everyone flew to Bontheris together on Shine's back, right? Yeah. Okay. If that's all right. If we can all hold on. Um. Yes, it's awkward. I think with the three yeah. of you and your ropes and all that jazz, it should be fine. But let's just say if you're trying to engage in combat in yeah, that yeah. way, it's going to be hugely problematic. I think I summon my seed, steed. Cast fly on both of you. That should last about three hours. Mm -hmm. And we make a beeline for her. When we have her in sight, we group back up together. I cast haste on all of us. And then it's just go time. If you get disembarked from, like, you'll probably have to fight in the air. But, uh, yeah. Try and go for the wizard if you can get him. I'll use my bow. You need to use butter dust. Yeah, I try and use the this on it. Yeah, I'll do that first. Then I'll use my bow. And uh, I think, given enough time, I can bring her down. So she won't have a lot of time to react. You know, I think she'll have to decide what she's doing pretty quickly. I think we should wait for Scory to come to us in like defense of a city rather than us go to her. Because well, if okay. she comes to us, we yes, know exactly where she's coming. That's what we did last time. She waited out until my steed ran out and then I had to go back to town to rest and that's when she attacked. Um, yeah. Can't you just cast fly on yourself on top of Shine's back? Shine, a fly only lasts like three hours, though. I mean, it's going to event. She can. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying just like when Scoria is like actually coming in from Shine's claw, you should just be able to cast fly on yourself. Yell to Shine and then Shine will drop you. We should, you we should actually, it. we should fly out and engage. I think we should. You think so? Yeah, if you're gonna cast fly on me ahead of time, I don't have to have my ring of feather falling on. Yeah, um, yeah. I will have my yeah. That's we do that. What you ring? Can do fuck you her up, up, right? I don't want to tell Koibu. Go, let's just go. Like she'll be faster than you in the air. But if no, she... I know. But like, no, no. Oh shit, Koibu can check out my character shit anyway. Never mind. I have my ring of truth on. That means that if I blink onto Scoria, I'm gonna kill the wizard 100. percent He'll die almost yeah, instantly. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay, and I, and I'll sure. be able to okay. see everything and do everything. So. But yeah. don't get teleported again, Cyril. Oh, you won't fail. I know because I'm gonna have the right ion stone out this time. <clears throat> so I don't even need a save. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we'll round. Wait. We spot her. Round one. I come to you, Anton. You cast the scroll. I cast what, scroll? haste. Oh, okay. The fire okay. protection. I cast haste. Tyrell, you just get ready, and then it's it's go time. Okay? You guys are ready for everything. If she casts like dispel magic on your steed, are you gonna fall to your death or? Well, well you need to stay next to the iron stone. Yeah, we just need to stay you, next to you. Are all of us gonna be able to, to stay close enough here, to me? Give me, give me one of the iron stones, then. Give me the level three. You take the big guy. Emmerick and I can stay near each other. You take, wait, say that again? Give me the level three ion stone. Oh, okay. That'll stop a dispel magic. Okay, um, gotcha. You oh, got the, on, it's ion stone 11, two. it blocks up wait. to level four. What? You you two, are, it's more likely that you two will be next to each other, right? I'm gonna be attacking from range. You two are more likely to be able sure. to stay next to each other. I'll give you the level four ion stone and I'll just stay next to Tyrion. Yeah. Oh, also a couple of things. 
Um, did we say whether or not the dimensional dagger, when slashing, does that penetrate stone skin? We got a ruling on that, right? It did go through stone slashing skin. Slashing right? does go through stone skin, yes. It and, did seem to, yes. And then the stabbing with a poison dagger. How did we rule no that idea. when we were fighting basilisks? Can you stab people or something and poison them when stone skin or no? I don't think so. We've used stone skin. Have things been able to bite us and poison us or anything like that before? Or, that should be known. No. It should be a well known no. property of stone yeah. skin. No? But you can poison with the dagger through the... Through stone skin? Through the stone. He can't. Well, if, you, if, you, if you can break the stone skin, then why not? No, no, no. I can break the he, stone he can't skin with on, a, stab. on a slash, but a stab oh, okay. is a different type of attack. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just curious what kind of attacks I should be using. Oh, but okay, gotcha. You should be using slash. slash. Yep, yeah. sounds like it. Okay. When it's go time, I cast fly on both of them. Okay. Um, yeah. What well, does it, it mean like we should when take our first break time. here, yeah. and then we should come back as you fly out to engage her over the sea. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll yeah, I want to get some spell love as well. Right back.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tombs of Scoria. Our dragons are over the sea. Our party has arrived at the um, has arrived at Bontheris, landed nearby the people of the city, excited to see the gold dragon and the McGarry brothers. Let out large cheers as the four of you ignore all of their yeah. accolades to focus on your fight against Scoria. How far? Scoria. Yeah, somewhere, you know, like 50 miles to the east of you, somewhere south of the East Voden, over the sea. Okay. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay, my cast fly on both of you. Let's go. Oh, and, and I summon my spectral steed. So you cast three spells. <laughs> boof, boof, boof. Yeah. Um, In the future, and, 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 wait, 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 wait. And I cast stone skin on them at the start of the day as well. How many stone skins did you have memorized? Three. Three stone skins, two flies. <laughs> I'm gonna do something wacky here, Koiber, for you, okay? I'm taking off my gloves of war and I'm putting them in my bag. Ho ho ho! Uh oh! I would like to have my hands free in case I need to swap rings quickly. Okay. Hold on. So you've got stone skins on each of them. Mm hmm. Fly on both of them, and I've got my fly from persistence. Okay. I've done this wrong. It should be. Here we go. Material. Anton. Imric. Stone skin over here. And fly. And so, Material and Anton have fly. Everybody has stone skin. Okay, so the stone skin's all worked out in a row. Um, everyone's got unfailing endurance still. And sacred guardian lasts forever as well. Uh, like days. Okay. One day per level. Sacred guardian. Excellent. Any other persistent spells on folks? Unfailing endurance, I think you said it though. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to be casting spells when we're, like, five minutes out, like, two minutes out, etc. Right. And, Imric, you still have fly on contingency, right? On persistence. Uh, persistence, thank you. Um, we didn't mention it. I mean, would I have had a chance to reset up my contingency after the crown hold fight? I think I could have just done it on any day where I wasn't casting the spells. Yeah. Um, what I want is fire shield on a, on a keyword. So I want to be able to say. Um, Is that how like, contingency works? Like you can set a keyword. Doesn't that doesn't give one of its examples? But it's basically like any contingency. So I don't see why not. Under the conditions dictated by during the casting of the contingency spell, the the spell to be brought into effect by the prescribed contingency must be effect to the wizard. Blah blah. blah. And you would you wanted fire shield? That seems like a fine one. Only one contingency per wizard. What's the word? Um, I don't know. Something funny that I've not thought of, you know. Just Obama. like. Yeah, no, probably. No, it's not Obama. It's. Go, go, fire shield. Oh, that's go, nice. go, magic fire shield. Yeah. Thanks. The conditions must be clear, although general. So go, go, fire shield. Wait, let me just double check that it's fire shield. I want them, not chill shield. Just double checking. Um, I obviously want the one that protects against cold The anti-fire fire shield. Yeah, warm shield. Warm shield is what I want. So it is fire shield. Chill shield protects against cold attacks. So yeah, fire shield. Okay. Um, any other persistent spell effects? Nope. I don't think so. No. Nope. Great. All right. So... Um, are you going to instruct Shine to take it easy and chase down Scoria, um, trying to head her off? Or are you going to beat your wings and try to get to her as fast as possible? Assuming I can keep up with my spectral state. It's 48 movements, so I think I can. I think we go as quick as we possibly can towards her. But then Shine's going to be useless in combat. Really? That's what Kobe said in the past, I think, right? Mm, well, okay. if she burns through her full movement in a day, she will be exhausted. But Scoria is only 50 oh. miles away. Um, yeah. You would definitely know whether or not she'll burn through a movement before then, before you okay. get there. 
we just go then as quickly as possible. All right. Yeah. You Tell start me when... booking it out. Mm -hmm. I need to know when I'm like two minutes out before like the big well, dragon yeah. clash. We want to be in sight. Once we sort of see her in the distance, you let us yeah. know. You won't see her in oh, the distance. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, so Mooton needs to let us know. I'm looking for a hand signal from you to tell us yeah. like, when we're... My hand signal will be this. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, uh, she, can't keep, she can't keep improved invisible forever. It's only a one round of level spell, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the order sitting in the saddle made for a dragon is Tyrael. Um, Anton's holding on. Anton and then Emric third in row. No, no, I'm on my steed. Oh, that's right. You're on your own spectral steed. Yeah. But I'm flying close by. Okay. Do you have who ha are, are ion stones out right now? Um, yep. I'm going to bring yeah. out my ion stone 12, the eighth level spell blocker. I'll give you the 11 if you want. I think I take it. I, I wear the 11th level block. He has the 11th level, or the 11. Yeah. And I will have my light one out above me. Yeah. So Anton has light stone. I got it. It's a... Yeah. Right. Um, Imric, you have the witch iron stone? The one that blocks level three, but level four spells and lower. I'm not sure if it's level four or level three, but... And then Tyrael has the level eight. Okay, yeah, so it's level four and level eight stones. Excellent. Our party chases after Scoria. You fly in her direction over the vast blue sea, leaving the shoals behind. Von Theris disappears in the distance underneath the uh, cloud cover on this cool winter afternoon. Um, Shine, at some point, will call back over her shoulder. I can feel Scoria. She's closer. I checked. Uh, but How still, far? Oh, she must be only a mile or so away. You can't see her out there in the clear blue expanse, but you can sort of feel she's, you know, you can sort of get a location. She's about a mile from you. And we can do a mile in, like, what, a round or not? No, no. Uh, it'll still take a couple of rounds to get a mile. How many rounds? Well, let's get to half a mile then. Mm-hmm. Um, Ariel, okay, I would know how this works. Can I cast a dispel magic, or sorry, a, a dispel evil spell on myself, um, and not get it fucking cucked by Tyrael's dispel magic thing above us, or no? Yeah, as long as it's not AOE or targeted at Tyrael, it should be fine. Like, as long as it doesn't affect Tyrael, it should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, because I think I do want to cast this on Tyrion instead. Mm -hmm. But okay, hang on. If I haste Shine now, though, where uh, we can get there in one round, about. Uh, fly doesn't change, but it might with. Well, shine. no, no. Yep, you're right. I think it would change right. fly for Shine. Yeah. If he hastes here, can we get there in a round? Let's see. If she's <sighs> a mile out, Shine is flying. Tyrion, put your um. Put the ion stone in the bag for a few seconds. What? While we cast haste, yeah, good point. There's no way we that it would to... block a friendly spell. It will. Really? It will. It will. It will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put careful. it in. Put it in the bag oh, yeah, for a few yeah, seconds. Yeah, I need I'll to put cast it. something on you. While he's casting haste, I cast dispel evil on Tyrael. You also need to cast the fire protection scroll. Yeah, I can read it. You hear him. You want to do that now? Yeah. If we're a minute out, then yeah. Or if um, we will be next see. round. Shine has a fly of 40. Scory's got a fly of 30. She's a mile away. Uh, 40. We haste. We're going fast. <laughs> Wait a second. Can Shine do a strength check and grapple Scoria? Wrestling? Yeah. What do we call it? Bear hugging? We grappling? Yeah, over bear. Do opposed <laughs> checks to grapple each other. I don't know how that's going to help you. <laughs> There's be a funny way to kill her. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah, die. He's, there it goes. She's going to die like this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're about a mile out. You tell Tyrael to put away his ion stone to cast the scroll of fire protection while someone else is casting haste on the four of you. And, and someone's cast casting protection of evil, evil on Tyrael. Dispel, 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 dispel evil on Tyrael. Dispel evil on Tyrael. Powerful spell. Yeah, it um, won't work. 
It won't work. It's been an option for a long time, but it's but know, it's a look spell. Look at... Wait, you're casting on Tyrael? It causes a summon creature of an evil nature to return. No, 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 no. Oh wait, um, can I not cast it on him? Because I can cast it on him to then attack with. Because you have to attack. Does that make sense? I think you cast. Spell. Maybe you have to cast it on yourself. I don't know. Oh, maybe I do have to cast it on myself then. The priest using the spell AOE one creature. Oh, if it says one creature. I was thinking I could cast the Dispel Evil on Tyrael's, like, Tyrael to do the Dispelling of Evil because you have to do the attack in melee combat. But it does say when the caster successfully strikes in melee combat. The range is also touch. Yeah, I think you got to be on yourself. I'm not sure. It affects, yeah. it affects one creature, meaning, yeah. like, you target one creature with the Dispel Evil, but it doesn't... But the range is touch, not self. A lot of the spells do say self when it's only just me, I think. It's um, a confused spell. Well, my understanding is that you cast it on yourself and then you've got one round per level to strike the creature and cause it the first. Iron Vigil says target. AoE the caster. It's, it, yeah, I'm it, not sure. But it doesn't affect you, does it? It affects the creature. It's, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so you, were ca you cast a spell evil on a creature. So you could cast it, it will exist on your person for one round per level, and then with a touch attack, you would deliver it to the thing that you want to hit it. So you would cast Spell Evil. Technically, it would exist on you until you make your touch attack against Scoria. So you would on be... On me? Not... I can't do it on Tyrael? Yes, yes. The spell okay. lasts for a maximum of one round for each experience of the level until expended. This is Our next line is pretty good. Magic spell that can be automatically dispelled by a spell. Yeah. While the spell is in effect, all creatures that could be affected by a fight with a minus seven penalty to their attack group when engaging the spell caster. The spell caster. When the spell is in effect, good. all creatures that could be affected by a fight when engaging the spell caster. All right. So when you cast a spell, evil. Yep. When the caster successfully strikes it in melee. Yeah. Does this mean you can hit multiple things with it? Or is it just one no, thing? No, it's expended. Right? It expends when it when I think I actually hit. Yeah. Or until expended. Right, right. Or yeah, so when like I hit and then the saving throw is made. That's when it's like stops. Right. But so you cast a spell then, evil on yourself. Until then, all I evil, have anything AC. that could be affected by it would be at minus seven to hit you. Yeah. Um, and then when you hit something, it is dispelled. Cool. Mm. And this There's a causes save a summoned creature of an evil nature, an evil creature from another plane, or a creature summoned by an evil caster to return to the place. Blah 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 blah. blah. Perfect. I am super satisfied with this. All right. <laughs> so, um, I cast that on myself. Weren't you cast? Yeah, you cast a spell. I can't cast on Tyrael, So, Imric casts fly on everyone. And Tyrael casts no, 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 protection. No, I cast haste. Fire. I cast haste on everyone. Haste on everybody. Can question is Not can fly. my spectral steed? No, fly was be already hasted? cast. Early. Fly was already okay. cast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone's got a fly already. Can my spectral steed be hasted? Mm. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Right, haste doesn't. I mean, there is some room for you to say, like, oh, it's not a real thing, so it can't Yeah, be because it uh, increases your metabolism, and this is an undead thing, so would haste ever affect an undead creature? Sounds like no, like because there's no meta metabolic process going on. But you could haste a golem, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why you couldn't affect your creature. Okay, cool. Seems fine by me. All, All right, right, good. Well, we're Great, here we go. Quick as fuck, the party dives towards Scoria. Tyrael McGarry pulls out his Ion Stone once again as Scoria gets closer and closer, and Shine calls back over her shoulder. She's just before us, and that is when go, Scoria go, will... Go, Fire Shield. When what? What was the thing that Nick just said? I, I activate my Fire Shield, but oh. Scoria's right there. You activate your Fire Shield, and... Um... Can I uh, get Shine to cast shield from her robes this round as she's flying? 
I don't know if you can yell it at her over while you're casting. Well, no, you only have to say go, go um, gadget fire no. shield. You can yell no, it to I, her. I don't. I'm saying I don't even yeah. think I need. So I think Shine knows that she should cast shield from her ropes right now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Especially yeah. after last time when she got magic missile. When mm -hmm. we were all standing there doing buffs, she should have cast shield. All right, Shine will cast shield from her robes. Um, Are we rolling an initiative? You... Yeah, sure. We can roll into initiative. Based. Is it based? Sorry, Neil. I'm not too concerned about any of this. Um, anyone else rolling in for initiative? Yeah, I'm gonna roll. Do it, can can I guess where she is? She's just somewhere in front of you. It's a, she's invisible. Well, right? I'm a high, high um, level, high intelligent caster. That's can I see true. Through the Do you get a saving throw, or it's a saving throw, not invisibility check, right? I believe so, it's yeah. a saving, saving throw. Yeah. Versus spell. Yeah. Okay, plus five on this. I have a chance to detect invisible objects. Real saving throw versus spell success means they notice it. Yeah, totally, yeah. You can tell. Oh, Mr. Mooton, Jesus. there must be wind in your eyes. <clears throat> but yeah, you can spot, you know, you can sort of see the shimmer in the air about around in front of you as sky shine dives towards it. And you can see that Scoria is gliding away from you, you know, having turned and you're coming up on her rear. Good. Um, Imric, looks like you win initiative rolls, all of them. What's the range of glitter dust? 10 yards per level. So, so you are 150 level... yards. Oh, true. We get minus two uh, initiative for haste. Doesn't oh yeah, I anybody. get three. Yeah. If I can see them, if I can see the as well, I'll try and aim the glitter dust at the back of Scoria where the caster is. You can see a large, you know, hundred foot yeah. long plus okay, tail so, shimmering yeah, blob. Yeah. Um, your range with glitter dust is 150 feet? No, 150, 150 yards. yards. Yeah. Okay, so that's 450 feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you will be able to catch the the back section of her tail with that pretty effectively. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof. The back section of her tail becomes visible as the glitter dust surrounds it. It's not in her vision, so there's no checks for blindness, no matter what. Uh, next up is Mr. Mutin. You've got uh, yeah. your spear of Rohana wait, wait, out. Sorry, I, I also move like away from Shine and the other two. Sure, you peel off to the side. Um, Great. I charge uh you so gotta wait for shine to get close enough right because you you rolled in with your spear it's ready but you're I still can fly oh you can fly we so you're going to yeah if, but you're if, if slowly then that. shine yeah oh if sure. you jump I guess off I'll, shine, I'll, you'll be way I'll, slower yeah i'll wait until shine's like near her and then i'll make my attack when i right. can yeah you hold your attack for shine to grapple scoria excellent and um that's when Scoria will dip from battle like hey, a wait. fucking hero i think that's weird because Scoria's casting a spell. I should at least be able to get there, right? On my... Well, Scoria rolled in at 8 for initiative. Shine rolled in at 13 for initiative. So Scoria gets her spell off before Shine's able to close. It's just weird movement. Could I not have closed even if I got off Shine? It's just a weird but movement But you move thing. more slowly than Shine. So if you sure, leave but... her, you will get less behind. Like, Scoria will outfly you. If you hop off Shine, you will just never, ever, ever catch Scoria because you move way slower than she does. Oh, okay. So Scoria is like flying towards us. Scoria is flying away from you. Okay. Yeah. She just comes out, sees what she does, gets you to use all your spells, and then baits you and TPs away to safety. And if you check in with her, she's right back at that bridge, right back where she TP'd before. Yeah. And the That's party's the left. Place. Wait, how long would it take us to get there? It's 162 miles. Do you want me to light the candle and we can go? Hours? Do you want to? Do you want to light the candle and go chase her right now? With yeah, all of just us? light the candle and take us there. Yes, I'll take the, the candle, candle out. There. What, Nick? That's a good idea. Yep. Let's put I take the candle yeah, out. I, I snap I, my fingers with both of them and I put them together. My dagger sheath for a moment. I'll snap my fingers. I'll light the candles and I would like to teleport. Um, okay, wait. Let's just talk you about. You need all brothers to hold on to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on my spectral steed. They're on Shine's back. We hold hands across and we'll we'll both teleport to that. Your spectral sheet is going to hover next to shine i think in order to communicate this the party is going to have to group up and be able to actually talk to one another right I mean, we can we take a round we can take yeah. a round to group and another and the next round to teleport if we want that's fine yeah 
how do you signal to each other that you want a group? Talk talk me through this. Like I'm sure you're capable of it, but I want to. Well, I, I think as soon as a, a clear picture of the battle. As soon as Scoria teleports out, I fly uh -huh. back over to them to discuss. Yeah, because you can see that suggests. she's no longer there. Shine will call back. Scoria's gone. Yeah. Um, I fly in to scoot next to them and I say, uh, Hero well, comes it up looks with like she's idea. trying to bait us. Just like we had in six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's a good idea, Teriel. Let's uh, agree, yeah. here. Let's make her. sure we all go. She's trying to bait us. So you us, hop yeah. off your spectral seed so you can be next to them? Because it's not like you can just perfectly hover next to each other and link hands with your spectral steed I know. flying next to it. Like, it's got wings, right? It's going to run into them. You can't, like, fly right next to them and touch them. How would that even work with the, the creatures? You could leave the spectral seed with your fly spell and land on shine, and then the three of you could teleport. But I don't know how you're going to bring your spectral steed with you. Okay, I think about it for a moment. If there's really no way, I mean, like, can I land the Spectral Steed on Shine? I mean, it's not that big, right? How big is if it? Wait, real quick. Why can't we just hover next to each other and touch each other? Um, well, if everyone has fly spells and everyone jumps off of Shine, that's fine. But if you want to be, I suppose yeah, you do. all do have fly on you, don't you? Yeah, we, we do. go to Emric, yeah. That was just cast when? Before you like flew out here, right? That no, was cast We want to bring Shine as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't teleport yeah. with Shine. Wait, why not? Uh -huh. How the the candle doesn't the weight have limit. a weight limit. The There's no weight, weight limit on the candle. Oh. Oh, you're going to candle your way. That's right. That's true, because yeah, remember when we were on a boat, we were going to teleport like 20 people off, and it was just however many people yeah. could touch us, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There's um, no weight limit. Mm -hmm. Can Shine grab my steed, and I'll land on the buck? Shine can grab your speed, steed, but again, it's... Whoever is using the candle is the one. Like everyone's got to be yeah, touching the candle, touching right? So Shine's got to touch it. The Steed's got to touch it. Sure. Everyone okay, has I need to, to grasp know. it. Are we going to be taking in-game time right now to figure out how to get Emmerich's stupid? Steed yeah, I don't think I don't think here? it's worth. Well, I'm just worried about escape. I'm worried about escaping. But yeah, I agree. That's not. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I just. Yeah, Anton would be just be like, get over here, Emmerich. Like, yeah. fuck your Steed. Sure, fuck the Steed. Okay, All fine. Right. I, Shine I can it. reach back with her claw, um, awkwardly somehow. I'm sure she can do it. And, um, right? I just a dragon fly could off my... reach to its back and grab on to... How does Shine grab the candle Shine's, and still Shine's... give room for the rest of you to grab the candle? No, she needs to grab the candle. She just needs to touch Tyrael. Yeah, she's touching Tyrael, so she's It's good. just whoever touches Tyrael? Yeah, it wasn't whoever all, touches all the past. candle? Wasn't that how you guys got off the boat? Is as many people as possible grab the candle? It was either grab the candle or touch the person touching the candle. It's Yeah, it's grabbing the candle, because this is blatantly stolen from stardust and that is a holding on to the candle okay well, well then we, we have to do it all, back. we do it it's got to just be the so. three of you right no, shine can come no no shine can come I'm okay saying, wait hold on wait stop the hold on wait wait wait, 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 wait how does anyone else stop. hold it hold on we are flying all three of us are flying and we're only bringing us three and shine right all three of yes. us fly off her back while she's hovering. I'll hold the candle up. She'll touch it with a claw. The two of us, the two of you will touch it, and then I'll light it and we'll go. Should be good, right? Right, or and I'm saying a dragon's claw is a lot bigger than like a hand or a pencil. Like she's just, huge. She doesn't have to have her like, whole claw wrapped wait, 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 wait. around. We can just place it on her back, right? When you light it. So we all hold mm. it and we press it to her back. There you go. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Yeah. And in a blink of the eye, the four of you arrive in a round well it's we'll to where you're rounds. all thinking right it's a it's a the candle is a group thought experiment it goes to wherever the collection of the group is thinking now Tyrael, you know you think you know exactly where shine is the rest of these people what do they know what do they think how do you how do you know where to go what do you visualize in your mind? Tyrell has no problem. He knows exactly well, where the fuck he's going. Well, I would tell them going. that there's a large bridge. Visualize yourself in the middle of it. It's the bridge of... Uh, bridge lights. Bridge light. Yeah, we all know this. Um, remember how there's a whole section in our history classes studying bridge light because it's one of the largest would, bridges in the land? I actually do think Anton knows because if you read Sacred Guardian, um, Anton gets like a visualization of the issue. That sounds like great. Threat. It sounds like the two of you absolutely know 100% for certain where you want to go. Shine should know. She knows. is limited yeah. by knowledge. So yeah. what were you going to say about Shine? Shine should know. She's flown everywhere. She's a fucking dragon. She knows all sorts of things, right? She should well, know. Well, she's a dragon from another land who has been guarding Drekus and hasn't really spent any time over Mystria because she's been defending Drekus. She's never seen the bridge. Has she? Is there any reason that Shine would ever be hanging out in the middle of Mystria where Scoria could engage her? Imric, how, do you know this bridge? The candle works by the group it, thought. I know of bridge light, but I don't know if I've ever seen it beyond passing. 
Okay. To be fair. Okay, but well, hold on. If we can't agree, we actually, just... we can just go to fucking Crownhold. Yeah, yeah. No, everyone enough. knows yeah. Crownhold. Is that good enough? She'll be gone. This only works if we go right there. Actually, it works perfectly because she's probably going to fly back to Dragon Peak so we can head her off. Yeah? Yeah. Because if we get to Bridge Light and she is flying towards Dragon Peak, we might not be able to catch her. But if we go to Crownhold, we can catch her. I think that's fine. Let's go. Crownhold. Um, let's do it in the... Do you guys remember where we got ambushed by the wizard in the... In the fucking plains? Oh, yeah, true. That's yeah. the best place to do it. But we're going to be outside the city with that ballista and stuff, and we've got a dragon with us. We're, that we've, we're destroyed. Destroyed. And that city is oh, totaled, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah that city yeah. is right, We're gone. gone. We're gone. Quite, but we did we it. Got. Two, three rounds. Okay, we're, we're done. Boom. Yeah. Boom. The party arrives in Crownhold. Dragon and all. Imp uh, is coming with you, too, of course. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, I have to hold on to the dragon and we fly. Yep, we fly. All right. You arrive in the plains outside of Crownhold. Shine doesn't know the spot very well, so you end up um, not in the exact spot where you encountered that wizard. You end up, uh, let's see. Wait, how far are we? This is maybe a bad idea. Seven fire miles. Protection. Fucking what? Protection's going to run out. What protection? Oh, fire it's protection's going to run out. How long does that last? Get there. Oh, actually, no, it's gonna, it might last long enough, but my fire protection will run out, though. Oh, but, okay, fire how breath. long does the scroll of fire protection last? Four turns plus D4 turns. Well, that's pretty oh, we good. Got plenty of time. That's yeah. lots of time. And your fire shield lasts? 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to work out. Ah, you're good, you're good, you're good. You got hey. 10 more minutes left. And Where's sure enough. Storia? Yeah, she's on her way back to Dragon Peak. She's, well, um, yeah. you know, she's just barely north of the Bridge of Bridgelight. Yeah, and you're gonna now go intercept her. Yeah, we are. We go. All right, the party flies in her direction. All everyone together, Imp riding on Imric's shoulders. Everyone a back, a top Scoria's back. Tell me when we're like seven rounds out. Yeah. Well, this time you can see Scoria's tail coming. Right, you kind of, you're scanning the horizon, looking for this creature. You know, keeping your eyes squinted against the wind flying in your face. When you see just like the end of this tail sort of flapping in the distance, uh, but it's clear that Scoria has also spotted you, which is much easier because you're on top of a brightly visible gold dragon. You know, there's no um, no difficulty think, in spotting the lot of you. Is she gonna have another um, improved uh, invisibility or no? Will that be the only one? I have no idea. We don't know? Okay, Probably cool. the only one. If I know our dragons work, but she's a special case. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. We'll keep going. I cast protection from evil on us. It's three rounds per level. Okay. I'm How many rounds did this now? take to catch up with her? That's like many. Classic. Well, we were hasted. Yes, you were hasted. Um, you were about 10 miles north of here. So you ended up somewhere like that. Um, if you're going like, you know, a mile every three minutes, it'll still take you an hour to get to where Were she we is. Or we want a mile a minute? No, I don't think so. I think I, I did the we... math and it was... It doesn't matter, oh, taste is gone though. Okay. Yeah. Three times. Okay. Is that many feet times haste, yeah. Okay. Um, Let me just cast Sigori spells because yeah. she will see you coming from a distance. I want to make sure I know exactly what's on her as we engage in battle. I, I cast two protection from evils. Just tell me when. Sure. Uh, these are all gone. You're casting protection from evils on who? Me and Tyrael. Uh, and you had cast a spell evil before, right? Gone. But that's yeah, gone, gone now. Okay. Um, contingency is gone. Sacred Guardian is in effect. Everything else is in effect. Um, what's the duration of fly, Nick? Mm, it's like one turn per level plus d6 turns per level, I think. So 14 plus d6 is, you know, minimum two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, so you, flies are still going. Stone skins are all day. Okay. Tell me when Shine believes we're 10 minutes out. Shine, you dumb bitch. 
Uh, I'm sorry, who was protection from evil cast on? Tyrell and Anton? Tyrell and myself. It's three rounds yeah. per level. Um, okay, yeah, that'll be 40 fine. Minutes. Yeah. Okay. And our dearly beloved red dragon. What does she have cast on her? Maybe. I got a question. If I'm in the air and I summon a random creature um, with conjure animal, I should be getting a flying creature, correct? Uh, isn't that only mammals, right? So you no, just get bats? random creatures, I believe you get anything. Uh, if the creature conjured is determined randomly, um, hold on, wait. The total hit dice of the mammals cannot exceed twice as level if the creature conjured is determined randomly. Um, so it's only a mammal if it's randomly. If a specific I mean, animal type is requested, the animal's hit dice cannot exceed his level. I mean, if it says, if it's calling out mammals specifically in one area and not saying conjured animal spell allows the priest to magically create one or more mammals to attack his opponent. It's one or more mammals. So oh, it's gotta okay. be It says creatures. if a specific animal type is requested. I guess that would just mean like type of mammal. Yeah, I think you're still okay. confined to the mammal That's category. Right. Okay. Not sure what um, flying mammals there are apart from bats. I think that's it. I think bats are the Griffins. only ones that learned how to fly. Hmm? Griffins, do they have eggs? Griffins are combo bird and they're not they're, they're not an animal, they're a magical creature. They're oh, okay. Fine. Um unselectable. I'm gonna drop a whale and score his ass. Base. Okay, so she's cast this. And this, um, and, oh, Glitter Dust. What's the duration of Glitter Dust? Because that probably has actually failed by now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's run out by now, yeah. Okay, so you don't see Scoria in the distance. Just keeping that one to myself, Neil. Uh, <laughs> that's how. That's really how you cheat in D&D, &D, is you just don't <laughs> tell people when spell effects end. Just stay quiet. <clears throat> right. So you're what diving. What you though, Neil, is no. I dare you to look at my character sheet right now. I've got two castings of that thing left, so I've got one left. Oh, oh I still have it. he says is improved invisibility still going Koibo? I just changed it to one. Um, what makes you think she has improved invisibility cast on her? She's invisible <laughs> based She cast a spell. You... I'm just asking is she still invisible? I mean, can she we see is her in invisible. The air? You there do not see her in the air. Correct. Can we see the wizard? You do not see the wizard in the air. No, um, I am when we feel like we're close enough Vanta tells me I'll activate my ring of seeing and I should be able to fly directly to them because yeah. I'm controlling the dragon, and I'll be able to Your see. Your ring of seeing has vision, what, 120 feet, is it? Uh, I want to so, say yeah. it's 60, but if you want to give me 120, that'd be great. Let me check for yeah, true Yeah, there's sight. two versions of true seeing. One has 60, one has 120. I don't remember which one. You've got oh, minus 120. one. should be the wizard. Yeah, I think yeah. yours is 120. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to so summon. About... Oh, go ahead. I'm probably going to summon some giant bats when we're... You know, if, sure. Well, Scoria will give you a we're five rounds out as she chases after. I'm sorry. Shine will tell you we're five rounds yeah. out as she's chasing after Scoria, who is in this moment fleeing. And so, you know, you're you're bridging the gap between them um, slowly. Um, okay. As I understand Wait, it, is it really slowly? She can't move faster with haste. She's not like gaining way quicker. Or well, no, haste, haste is gone. Anymore. Oh, haste is gone. Really? Um, okay. I might, uh, me, Anton's casting spells, but is it not the case that we can't cast spells on Shine's back, or can I? And you are not in a saddle. You are not a proficient dragon rider. Right. Being able to cast spells from dragon back is going to require somebody to brace you and support you in this process. So I think okay. one of the two of you can cast while the other one like okay. holds you tenderly. And that seems fine okay. by me. All Tyrael right, well, can read that... scrolls because he's in a saddle. In a down round, can you hold me, Anton, so I can cast Cat's Grace on myself? Yes. So this round, when we're told we're five minutes out, I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just go for the memes, or you're just going to roll for it. Uh, it's going to be a bat, because it's in the air. It's a mammal. Mm -hmm. So it's going to mm -hmm. be a common, a large, a huge bat, a knight, azimuth, a hunter, or a sinister. Mm -hmm. um, and then however many I can get, which is going to be 26 hit dice worth. Right. Um, so it's probably not going to be the upper levels of bats because they are magical beasts. Um, it'll have okay, to be so something it can only that is a be... fairly ordinary bat. You know, even a large bat is fine. A giant bat is great. 
But I think the Night Stalker, the Sinisters, and the Azimuths have magic on them. Yeah. Magic resist, magic resist. I don't know about the Night Hunter. Okay, well then if I... Um, then I'm just going to go for the huge bats since they have four hit dice. Uh, you can do Night Hunter. They're just a different type of large bat. So common, large, huge, or Night Hunter? Uh, I'm going to go huge. Okay, and you're creating how many hit dice? Uh, that's going to be 13. How 13. fast can these fuckers move? Um, half the speed of uh, Scoria. So they will fall behind. They won't catch up for many rounds. That's right. Okay. You're going to create 13 hit dice of huge bats. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huge bat. Don't worry, uh, guys. And that's going to be three of them because they are four hit dice each. That's right. I'll brace Emmerich this next round. Okay. That was, round, that was five rounds out. Yep. Yeah. It was the casting of that. Um, next round. Emmerich is Grace. going to be held by Anton. And will I ever, for the first time in history, cast this and get higher than a three? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Baby. Yes, just in time. All right. Now we're actually at. How many yards away are we? 19 decks. Oh. Um, the difference in fly speeds is 10, so 10 times 3, oh god, the math here is hard. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because everyone's flying at full speed, so um, we're doing 10 times. I can ask you this, are we going to ever be 30. within 60 yards before full-on engaging shot, or Scoria? Sorry, I need to do this. Are you trying things. to catch up? You need to make a function of both times. speeds, and then you need to set it equal to zero to find out when I think we meet. If that's <laughs> we do a lot of math now, but ninety. Okay, so Scoria is flying at two thousand seven hundred feet per minute, and Shine is doing. Three thousand six hundred per minute. Were the both numbers right? Two seventy versus three thousand six hundred. Um, I'm sorry, two seven zero zero versus three six zero zero. So you are gaining nine hundred feet per round. Okay. And how many feet away are we? So when you're five rounds out, you are, um, you know, almost a mile out essentially. Well, a thousand. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'll never so be within were... 60 yards like a round prior, correct? No, no, no. Perfect. By the time you get to within 60 yards, it's it's combat zone. It's go time. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Great. Um, Imric, brace me. Yeah, okay. So I that was round me. four. Now it's round three. I'm casting recitation on the party. Nice. What does that give me? Plus, Plus two. two. To attack and saving throws. Shine has it as well. So that's three rounds out. They're casting it on everyone? Yep. Okay. And I got a doozy for you. You ready? Hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's on all four party members? Yep. And this is on when you're three rounds out? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Two rounds out? The next round, yes. This is when things begin to get interesting. This is when things begin to get more fun. Um, you can go ahead and cast a spell. What spell are you casting? Um, I need to think if I want to do it because I don't think it completely negates the save. No, I don't want to. I was going to cast Cloak of Bravery, but it doesn't completely negate a fear save from this dragon. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to, it's only going to be a plus one anyways. So I'm just going to say, fuck it. Um, mm -hmm. So you're not doing it. I am not doing that. No. Okay. Two rounds out. Any actions from anybody? Two rounds out. How far do we have to be to breath weapon? Uh, essentially same space. Cause you're yeah. moving this 900 feet mm -hmm. per round that you're closing. So you'd have to be, you know, engaged essentially. Yeah. I gotcha. Gotcha. I'm going to set uh... to receive a charge. 
Oh, how many how many fees are you? You are you are not being charged, <laughs> Mr. Moon. Well, then I'm gonna set for a charge. There you go. But it's still spear. a while away. Yeah, but we're, you you you're not going to away. you're not gonna like cavalry charge at Scoria unless that's a specific plan, and then you need to saddle. You, okay. you need to be a proper dragon rider to like and a proper dragon lance to to yeah, yeah. lance down a creature from airback. Um, I want to make sure before we engage, we have everything good to go, right? I have my eighth level iron stone out. Emric, you have I the have fourth mine. level one out. Yeah, you have all of our rings. We're still flying, correct? Mm -hmm. We're still flying, yeah. Although I haven't got fire protection, so. Okay, like, just stay. Don't get broken. Yeah. Uh, um, does anyone have fire that. protection? Yeah, yeah they the do. Yeah. Scroll has oh, because that was for four rounds plus four one turns, D four, four turns. D four turns. Four turns. Yeah. Yep. Four turns plus D four turns. I have turns. Frostbrand in my right yes, hand, nice. and I have the Spear Rahan in my left hand. And you cast when you cast the scroll of um, fire protection. That was just a few rounds out from her over the ocean. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So hey. even though it's been half an hour since then, you're still definitely within the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah. So fire protected. Um, how far away is she right now? Uh, two rounds. Like, so 12, uh, what, 1,800, 1800 feet. feet. Okay, no. Yes, at the beginning of this uh, round, before anyone's rolled for any mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. I'll do a mirror image on myself then. Okay. Yep. That is... Wait, no, An oh, well, I would brace you for it. So I guess Anton's bracing. Yeah, he's got to brace round. you for it. Old me. Yeah. Uh, Just a worthless plus... spell, because the dragon sees through it. No, not necessarily. Eight. Okay. Right. Well, you, uh, on this round, on this round, you will surprisingly begin to catch up very quickly to Scoria as she is casting a spell. Um, you will essentially expend all of Shine's movement to catch up to Scoria this round, but not also attack. It, it'll be her full move to gauge the distance, uh, to close the distance between the two of them as Scoria is clearly doing some sort of innate okay. ability that well, prevents wait, her from flying full speed. Well yeah, I feel like we can attack then. Yeah, I feel like we should get attacks then. Maybe not um, Emric, because well, he was casting not spell. Emric, not Anton, because Anton's holding Emric. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the rest of you are expecting this to be a longer engagement. Shine is flying full speed. Mm -hmm. uh, Tyrael McGarry's hanging out, waiting for something. And he by has... the end of the round, Shine will catch up. Um, that doesn't Tyrael's still mean Tyrael can get a full round of attacks. But if you want to throw yourself off of Shine onto <laughs> Scoria at the end of this round to make one attack, I do. That is fair. Can I? Uh, are they invisible? I have my ring of true sight on. I will activate. Uh, it. They are invisible. Yeah. You can activate your ring of true sight. You'll see that Scoria is riderless today. There is no mounted knight uh, caster. Is she full Ooh. HP? Yeah, she's okay. full HP. Even though she was badly wounded just yesterday, by now she's full hit points, baby. That's fine. Um, I see nobody else here. I'm going to teleport on top of her. Teleport or blink? Blink. What's Thank the difference? You. So many, so many things. Blink only has that 15 foot gap. So you sort of have to like hop out of your saddle, crawl up to Shine's neck as you're mm -hmm. closing in the middle of this round. It'll be like your half action okay, to get fine. as close That's as possible. Okay. And as Shine's neck comes towards Scoria, you can leap off of Shine's neck onto Scoria's tail, blinking midair to secure your exact landing I spot on like her. To to interrupt at this point and say, I still have half a move after casting my spell, don't I? I want to try and, after I cast the spell, I see Tyrael, like, I'm going to fly off Shine's back and try and just get, like, near Tyrael. You cannot fly as fast as the dragons, right? What's your fly speed? Oh, it's only 18 or 36. Yeah, no, you, if you hop Scorry off of Shine, you'll still. fall. No, no, Scord, there's no standing still in air. You have to be moving forward unless okay, you're okay, class okay. A okay. flying. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. Okay, when um, I'm on top of the dragon, do I get, like, a bonus to well, attack? Well, wait, wait, hold on. Just like last round, okay. uh, last time you did this, there is the the grab on to the dragon, right? We we made a long discussion about what it's like to grab to blink and grasp onto a creature. Remember? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that would even factor in this time. Um, three huge it's things that are playing. Play. One is yeah. I'm blinking. I can choose where to blink. Two is mm -hmm. I'm flying, so I can like position myself wherever one. And three, I have my ring of truth set on, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right. You can see her, and if you don't grip quite right, you're not falling. You're sort of flying and hovering. And 
and you might just like miss the tail and have to re-grab on a lower section of tail. Um, for you, it doesn't really matter how high up the tail you grab, right? Well, why would I even be on the tail? Why wouldn't I just blink right under her back? Because your blink range is only 15 feet. Okay. And... You know what, Kwebu? What do you want me to roll? What did we say it was last time? <laughs> I don't remember. No, last time it was bad. I think it was like your wisdom plus your... Uh, yeah, but, no, yeah, but last you, time you, you couldn't need this. see. Well, no, last yeah, time you, was wisdom because we had to think of where it was, but this should yeah. just be strength or dex. You can just see it. Yeah, so you just need strength or dex to, to blink and grab on without any troubles. Okay. Easy. Not a problem. You leap off of Shine, blink to Scoria, you grab onto her tail, pull your dagger out, and go ahead and make your action. Does she look stony? Yeah, she does. She does? She All right. Sound. Then I will do oh, yeah. a uh, slashing attack with my dagger. Excellent. Um, that goes right through her <laughs> scales. No problem. You slash against her. What are the chances of actually removing the section of tail that you're clinging on to? Pretty thin, right? No shot, Koipu. No shot. No shot? Well, could could you hold on to her tail and do 100% of her HP damage from her tail? No, but could there's you no way. kill her from I, I, the tail? There is no way a dagger can cut through the tail of Snorri, because it's probably about oh, yeah. ten She's times probably thicker big. than the blade. If it was a yeah. sword of sharpness, maybe. maybe. But this dagger, yeah. not right the blade, now. No. Yeah, it's only a dagger, right? It's mm -hmm. not that long. So go ahead. Uh, roll your damage, Tyrion McGarry, as you drag your dagger into shine as Scoria. And what I imagine is like bring it down the length of the sure. tail in order to justify the huge amount of damage you're doing. You have Splitting... movement after this. It's not a triple. It's not a double crit, is it? Or it is. is it? it is. Um, I don't know. It's a 21. I don't know if it is an 21. Action. Ignoring armor decks. Ignoring, yeah. It ignores armor decks. It's like a 10. Uh, right, so she's 10. AC 10, so you, yeah. you crit once. So Take minus two damage from that is oh, 8. Yeah. Excellent. Our HP bar has moved. Um, okay, and you that's can't move. after if that. I, wait, if I, yeah, if I can't fly, can I climb into the saddle and shot? No, because Imric, uh, Anton's in your way. It's you'd be a Dex check plus some other stuff. No, Make it I'm or flying, fall off. Though. I'm flying, right? So I but you're flying yeah, but you slower, slower, than, slower shine. than shine. No, no, no. But what I mean is, I can like pull myself forward without gravity and not enacting on me. But oh, really hold on. We have a you're very still weird... slower than shine. I'm still a... gonna need you to make a dex check to crawl over your brother while flying. Like your your flight might help you a little bit, but not very much. Well, here, well here's the weird question: If shine is flying somewhere at speed twenty, and you can fly at speed ten. If you come off of Shine, are you going to fall behind 10 or are you going to move forward 10? Because no, you're going... he'll fall behind. His speed is based on ground speed, not Shine speed. Can I get a Luxo and bonus nail to this? Yeah, <laughs> sure. True. Based. Base Lux. Oh, yeah. that's a lot. Didn't even yeah. need it. Okay. Well, it was a plus 20, so no, I definitely didn't need it. <laughs> yes. You scramble <laughs> up gonna... and over um, Imric, or not Imric, Anton, into the saddle. Now, yeah. this is an unfamiliar saddle to you. You're not a proficient dragon rider. You are no. sitting here. I don't know but what I this benefit have, is going to give you. I do have airborne riding, right? I feel like from this, I can maybe you cast have... or use my bow. I know it's not the same, but I can it's sit It's not the same. Seat. I can sit in a seat. Guaranteed, I can sit in a seat. Sure, Didn't... but that's not a very impactful statement. If you want like, to be able to use Shine as a mount, you need a dragon riding proficiency. No amount of sub-proficiencies will get you there, right? That, that's kind of a... So I, I can't a... use my bow or cast a spell from this seat on Shine, and I can't... No, we're just along for the ride. No, 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 no. I'm out. saying that you do not have a dra dragon riding proficiency. There will be penalties for yeah. riding a dragon in flight. Yes. Oh, I've got 19 decks. I'm all right. Then you're good. You're, fine, you're yeah. totally fine, right? Okay. Next round? Or shine Next thing. round. Wait, didn't Scoria have an innate ability that she's doing? Yeah, she did it. Cool. Okay. Uh, you, you don't. You didn't see what it was. Um, and it's now time to roll initiative. Hey, movement is wacky and stupid in this air. Yeah. Am I just totally. am I gonna be able to am I gonna be able to hit shine ever or Scoria shine. ever? Um, not from the back of shine. You're gonna have to get onto Scoria somehow. And is that possible? You tell me. What do you do no, to you try and get from one to the other? You tell me. This is your okay, moment. You know what? This round, this you, round. I'm, two and a half round, years have been building to this. Don't tell me you don't know how to get from one dragon to another. This round, I cast a spell. It's just verbal. Who's so going to hold you? Easy. I, okay, it's just a verbal, verbal should be fine. That's verbal. fine, yeah. That's great. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Get fucked. Okay. Your, score, your dragon's going down. Sorry, right, before I roll, can I? do I feel like I can cast a spell? I'll try to, and I'll have to make some roll. Or what? You're in the dragon. You're in the saddle. 
You're good. Saying, He's in the yeah. saddle. He doesn't have a dragon riding proficiency. It's not like score uh, Shine is taking a very gentle glide. Like she's in here to fight. There's going to be twists. There's going to be turns. There's going to be hard embankments. Mm -hmm. She might even get hit by a creature. Um, in the spellcasting rules, it says if you're in a difficult situation, you need someone to brace you. If you're on a chariot, you can't cast spells unless someone is bracing you and holding you. I think riding on dragonback, even in a saddle, is way harder than standing in a chariot. So no, without someone Did spending an action anything? to brace you, you can't cast any spells. Unless they're verbal. Um, yeah, I mean, brace me. Your spell's verbal, right? So you can hold me while you cast you your can't... verbal spell. That's two yes, actions. One sir. action is to brace a person. One action is to cast a spell. We're not doubling up on these things. Just do your. This is uh, a top tier difficult do your situation. Bow this time, Nick. And I got you next round. I was going to enlarge Tyrell. I think it's probably the most optimal. Can't enlarge thing him because you can't touch him, right? Don't need to touch its range. Enlarge his range. Oh, but he's got the Iron Stone on, so it wouldn't work. Good thinking. Oh, oh yeah. Neil, also, one thing to clarify at this point: the bow of speed is a plus one bow. Um, but it fires non-magical arrows. In the past, I've used this against dragons, but I think uh -huh. maybe that maybe that was missed. So I'm just checking that that's legit, that that has worked against dragons in the past, as in that the fact that the bow is plus one would overcome the fact that dragons I do believe we have talked about this, yeah, and a checking. plus one bow does not fire magical arrows. It has a plus one to hit, but the arrows it fires are still okay. non-magical. Okay. So All your right. bow of speed is not useful against Scoria. Okay. Well, we have plus right. two arrows. Yeah, but he yeah, can't. You know, I, the bow of speed like automatically oh, knocks its stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Okay, I'll use my I'll use my other bow. No, I see. Okay. I got a plus two, so let me know when I'm. Right. Um, and I shall play our beloved Shine. Uh, and she's gonna do what dragons do. She's just gonna get her in there with her claws and her fangs and her teeth and whatnot. Mr. Mooton, you've rolled in at two for initiative. Yeah. And Tyrael, you've rolled in at 10 for initiative. And our dearly beloved dragon. He'd flown hard and fast. Yeah, so where Shine is, is more or less where our party is. Somewhere over the plains, north of Sun Lake, west of Lake Edric, east of High Meadow, and south of the Dead River. So named for the ritual tradition of floating dead bodies down the river. And Scoria will roll into initiative now this round. Or is cringe. Cool. Right. Did Scoria talk to us at all right now? Did she say anything? She did not say anything. Can you imagine that? Beta mail. Alright, Scoria. Let's do it. Oh! oh. Oh, that initiative, so bad. Anton starts off the round with what? Command monster? I point at Squirrel and I tell her to die. Does it? Does this even work? Oh, you have nothing else you can do, yeah, I guess, we're, huh? We're rolling. I, I can I can maybe do something next round. Okay. Nat 20 right. time, do you need, or is she, she rolling? She gets magic resistance and then a spell save? She gets a, I don't know which the order is, but yeah. Right. Uh, What's her magic resistance? Get a saving throw to resist, but only if they have an intelligence exceptional or better, and their hit dice are greater or equal to the casters. Both conditions are true. So she gets a um, res magic resistance check, which I think she actually fails. Oh, shit. Okay, can you, if she does fail it, can you roll it and roll 20 just for the check? Oh, yeah, Not totally. for me. I believe I don't care. I genuinely do believe you. <laughs> Yeah, the magic resistance fails. Oh, and shit. her saving throw is going she to be... She clearly needs a three. She needs a th like a, like a yeah. higher, right? 
Mm. Yeah, Anton does say. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Can you imagine if this works? That would be so funny. Yeah. There's a 15% chance now. Oh! It is indeed a failure on the spell. It goes through oh magic resist and you affect God. her. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Does she have like a ring of protection to add to her saves or anything? Yeah, I would have thought she was. Uh, uh, oh, 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 thank you. Know? you. Oh my God, oh, thank yeah. you so much. I forgot okay, to check at her. Look at her gear. Yeah, you don't want to forget that. You don't want to forget good, that. Good, good, good. Oh. Don't want to forget that. You know, I'm trying to be fair good, here. Good, okay? good. Yeah, no, this is great. Any one creature. Oh, this is fantastic. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Oh no, she's got a ring of spells on it. Kill something like that. This is not a touch spell. No, it's no? a range spell. That kid, that reminds the teacher about homework <laughs> at the end of All class. right, Mr. Mooten, roll me a d10. Roll as low as possible for your own benefit. Seven. Uh, that's kind of low. 70% of this spell is turned back at you. You must now make a saving throw versus spell at... No, hang on, hang on. Come on, monster. Plus three. Him. Why not? It's not a monster. I'm not a monster. No, 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 no. Only no. in the metaphorical sense. This spell allows the priest to command any one creature within the oh, spell's okay. range. That's command right. monster is a more powerful version of command. You can target humans with it, but the power of command monster is that you can target things that aren't humans with it. Wait, wait. What level yes. spell is this? The sixth, sixth level spell? So the yes. iron stone Other creatures gain a saving wall. throw only if they have intelligence 15 or greater, or the creature's hit dice are equal or greater than the caster's. Oh, okay. your hit well, dice are equal, equal to the casters. Right, yeah. What a shame. Obviously, we were never in any danger, of course. Okay, so All right. I can only fail this on a one, two, or three, and it's going to be a spell save. Because I get um, plus yeah, six. Let me just... Hold yeah, go, on. Ahead, go ahead. Once the spell is turned, the effects must be determined. If the spell normally allows a saving throw, the intended target, the one wearing the ring, gains an automatic pass... A plus equal to the number rolled on the die. So Scoria gets a save at plus seven, seven so she passes. Okay. The caster receives a bonus equal to the number rolled on this die subtracted for 10. So um, you would get a plus three to your wow. saving throw. Okay. Yeah, so you just need yeah. a three or higher. Four yeah, or just higher. Don't, don't roll a one, We're two, good. or three. Okay, yeah. you're good. Um, the spell affects nobody, and it was turned back against you. Good ring. Good ring. So can she good still ring. fail this save? Like, let's say she gets a one, two, or three. She yes. still but I have to roll low. Yeah, if you rolled like a one on the D10, then 10% of it would be turned back against you. She would get a plus one on the save. You would have a okay. plus nine on your save. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that was Anton's turn. Imric, it's your turn. Nice shoot her. This is your bow plus two? Yep. And you're firing it with a plus one arrow? I am. Make me a roll to hit. Let's go, Nick. Are oh, you keeping track of stone skin charges? I am. Okay. Thirty is. Did you Storia add plus two? Literally has plus one to uh, thirty-one AC. She is one of the few things that yeah, breaks thirty break, AC. But it's, but it's Wait, I have a question. Nick. Oh, did but it breaks stone skin. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. Did you add two yeah. from recitation? You did. Yeah. I yeah, but it matters not because it breaks a stone skin charge. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm getting four attacks this round, so I'm shimming two now and two later. Yeah. Let's just do two now, two later for simplicity. Yeah, so I take. So I take two two charges. Yep. So she's. Law loses two. Make games. sure you take off one extra one because Tyrael still breaks one when he attacks mm -hmm. from last round. Uh, I think I might. Yes. Wait, do I just break one with the double with the crit? Do we decide that it's yes. just one? Yeah, crit? Yeah, yeah. We got rid of it's that. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. regular, That's regular good. old rules, as it should have always been. <laughs> Tyrael, you're grabbing onto this tail. You've brought your dagger in and split it down the length of the tail a wee bit. Um, Scoria's tail is like open and bleeding before you. What are you gonna do on your turn? Can I blink up to get on her back now, or? Well, her tail's long. Her tail is like a hundred something feet long. So you can crawl up a little bit forward. You can make a half move and a full complement of attacks and to blink, and you can start making your way up her body. Okay, I'm just gonna do a half move and my attacks. I'm gonna save my blink just in case. Yeah, sure. Um, um, you crawl, crawl, crawl. And go ahead and make uh, your first attack this round with your dagger. 24, and this is a slashing again. So you just break a stone skin charge and you mm -hmm. do some damage. Single uh, crit. Single crit, yep. And then one more slash Nine. attack. It's two plus yeah. one at the end of the round, I think, right? Uh, Well, the second slash attack should be at the end of the round. So let her get her. I don't get two slash. I don't get off. two attacks and then one more at the end of the round? 
No, you you're it. not expertise. You're oh, only okay, gotcha, wielding gotcha. one weapon in a hand because you can need your other hand for holding on and everything. So, okay. Um, I do need to subtract that nine points of damage, though. There we go. Okay, um, Scoria and Shine, because Scoria is hasted, and I forgot to add minus the three from her initiative roll. Shine catches up to Scoria, reaches out with her claws, sort of grapples onto Scoria's back, bites in with her teeth, and knocks off three stone skin charges. Boom, boom, boom. Based. Yeah, she'll hit Scoria no matter what, or at least hit the stone skin. Mm -hmm. And Scoria will get to go. Hmm. All right. Her first action. She's soaring through the air, right? She has been like trying to um, slowing her speed so that she can actually use her attacks. Dragons can't do their their nice sprinting while making all their attacks. So Shine kind of catches up claws at Scoria um, and is sort of like following over her like this. Scoria will take herself like a nice swooping turn um, and we're going to get into the mobility of dragons. They are class C creatures so they can make passes at each other every other round. So essentially, you know, Scoria will peel this way, Shine will go that way, and then every other round they can they make attack. a swooping dive at each other. We need um, Shine to like grab it, I think. Well, yeah, I'll, we'll tell her well, next well, round. Well, if that were to be the case, they'd both plunge to the earth together and fall to their deaths. Please, kill them. They wouldn't, they wouldn't die, would they? 20 d6. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe that not. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, Scoria does this, you know, big twist and turn. Her tail sort of flips up and high. Tyrael McGarry, you're holding on to the back of a dragon's tail while it is maneuvering in the air. Um, there's got to be some check to hold on because th this isn't an easy thing to grab onto a dragon's tail with your, your weapon. Um, and you did intentionally save your blink during your climb up her back. So would you make me a strength check to see if you can hold on? Huh, of course. <laughs> That's fine. You have a blink. Yeah, you lose grip of the dragon and begin to fall off, but you've still got true seeing and you can blink right back onto her as soon as you lose your grip. If you can just pass another strength check to hold onto her. Yeah. When you <laughs> I'm not gonna fail two in a row. <laughs> sure. oh, oh my god, god, I can't believe that. What the fuck? That Cereal is falls so off Scoria. Oh. An unlikely but very reasonable thing that happens. Very reasonable. Um, yeah. Now Tyrael, you begin to fall. Well hold on, no, we have but fly, you have fly, right? Yeah. You a fly, right? So I just hover um, there, confused. Yeah, and so Scory is doing this. She begins to take a hard turn. She loses grip of Tyrael. She was Wait. trying to turn around to get to a place where she could make her attacks at you. And she had to like kind of circle back and bring her tail, but then you fell off. So I don't think she can even get hey, her hey. claws on you this can, round. Can we, can we talk though? Like if you've got fly casts on you, you, you're not getting affected by gravity. So would you really fall off? You know yeah, what I mean? because like, it's not just like, you know, imagine Scoria is whipping her tail and then pulling it back at the last minute. You know, if he's holding onto her, he gets a whole bunch of velocity in one direction and then the tail breaks going back the other way. Being, you know, you still get the momentum of being on the tail as it whips back and forth. I mean, I right? guess so. I feel like it would just make it easier to hold on being having fun. It would, but with his fly. rolls, it's just like... With his rolls and with Scoria's speed compared to his speed, it gets really dicey, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, here she wanted to attack you, but I think because of the motions in play here, uh, she sort of whips you off of her tail and dives in a opposite direction from Shine. So Shine is now moving to the west. Scoria is now moving to the east on this round. Uh, Anton and Imric are atop Shine's back. Tyrael is between the two dragons hovering in the air the imp near Imric. I get two more shots. Yeah, let me just see if there's anything else that she can do with her attacks this round. I don't think so. Um, I think her attacks are just missed. So go ahead and get your last two shots. Turning in the Whoa. saddle. Stoneskin. Yeah, stone skin and stone skin. Right, they'll both hit. You're not rolling ones or something. Doesn't matter anyway, right? Stone skin. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um... Wait a minute, how do you know where she is, Imric? Uh-oh. 
Mm. You were able to I mean, do the it first two attacks you could make. Well, I just make my. I'll just make my spell safe to be able to guess where she is. Right. I mean, she's a huge target. I feel like I can. She is a huge target. Yeah, yeah. Make me your spell save. That seems fair. There's plus nine to this. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I give you a spell save as well for the future? Yeah. Uh, you we'll want that roll round it when round. we need it. We'll roll Perfect. it when we need it. Yeah. Okay. Next round of initiative. Scoria is flying to the east. Um, and Shine is going to try to wheel around to face her. Every other round, they can make a pass. So at the end of this round, Shine will be facing the opposite direction. Be facing Scoria's direction. I will brace Imric for a spell if he'd like to cast one. Maybe he can enlarge Scoria. Shine? I mean, I could enlarge Shine. I was going to enlarge Serial, but there's no point now. Although, actually, if Shine's, if Scoria's standing around, Serial can probably get back on her, right? I, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm really worried about the breath weapon right now. Because you're not protected? Good. Because only Tyrael is protected by it and he's nowhere near you? Yeah, well, but we're in the air. Well, it's hard to do the fucking breath weapons. But yeah, agree. she could do it on a passing round for Sherzy's. We could. We're on a dragon who resists the breath weapon. Yeah, mm -hmm. do I feel like there's a way that we could get cover from Sean? not sufficient like if scoria hits you with the breath weapon the holding on to shine and having the the limited mobility will probably cancel out with whatever physical protection she would give you yeah it's a um, big before, breath weapon it's a lot of for crazy dumb shit happens i do have a ring of fire resistance on and i do have right frost away. brand great i'm going to uh, but is the frost brand in your hand yeah well they, one is good I, I don't think they stock anyway so well, Frostbrand is going to be what I plunge into the breath weapon that's coming after me to try and Ooh. oust it. That's cool. So yes, it is in my hand. I, so I said you got earlier, Frostbrand in one hand, hand on um, the yeah. saddle. You got to hold on to something. You can't have two weapons out and grip shine with your knees. You're not a dragon rider. You didn't take the time like Tyrael did to learn these things. You got to have yeah, some of us had shit hands. going on rather than walking <laughs> around the city fucking ripping people off. Okay, there was a I reason. Thought, I thought rogues were weak. <laughs> I will take, uh, well, they have a lot of time on their hands. Yeah. I will take Frostbrand. Yeah, I'll use Frostbrand. That's fine. Okay. You put your, your spear away. You grab out. You draw out your sword. Yeah. Um, you're not going to be able to stabilize him if you are... No, it's all right. I think I just used my bow. Sword is Yeah, handing. he's just going to use the bow. I, I, keep my, yeah. I keep my sword up. This is to save us. Okay. Um, Shine will spend a round turning to face back towards Scoria. What is Tyrael doing? Tyrael, what are you doing, buddy, in the air? Okay, so if the dragon, the dragons aren't flying in straight lines, right? But they kind of are, have predictable paths, right? They're not going to like zigzag, right? And they're kind of no, like, they're definitely zigzagging. They yeah. definitely are trying to be as unpredictable as or, possible. Or, I'm sorry, when I say they can't zigzag, what I mean is like a dragon can only like go like this, right? A dragon's ever doing like this, and they're going like that, or like that, right. or that, right? Yeah. They must maintain forward momentum, mm -hmm. and a dragon with class C can do, I believe, um, 90 degree turns around. So can I activate my Cloak of the Cheetah in the air while I'm flying and try to head off Scoria to get on her again? Your Cloak of the Cheetah will not affect your fly speeds. It'll affect your run speeds, but not your fly. Is that true? Yes. Because it helps you run faster and running doesn't make you fly. Mm, just his three extra yeah. movement speed, but okay, Quavo. No, 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 it's, it's a sprinting Cheetah Cloak. It's not a, a flying okay. Cheetah Cloak. Okay. What are you gonna do here? Um, is there is there a way? Do I feel like I can catch up or get to like head off where she's gonna be? No, there's no way that you could possibly catch Scoria if you're flying against her movement speed. Yeah, well, but, but I keep in mind, well, I only right? have to go in a straight line while she's like zigzagging and trying to evade. That's what that's kind of what my question is. Well, it depends on what her actions are, right? If she's turning around to come back and make a swipe at you, then uh -huh. that's one thing. Okay, but if fine. she's flying that's... away, you'll never catch up to her. So okay, are we you'd... positioned such that can I just go back to Shine? You can fly in the direction of Shine. Yeah, and yes. I'll, I'll hop on them again. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Um, I just want to make sure that we're doing maneuverability class C. Includes most birds, flying magical items. Forward momentum must be maintained by moving at least half the normal movement rate. Although some magical items are exempt from this, creatures in this class can turn up to 90 degrees in a single round. You can make one pass every two rounds. Gargoyles and harpies fall into this class. Dragons, although hues are huge, are amazingly maneuverable and also fall into this class. So, at best, any winged cre uh, these dragons can take a 90 degree turn in a round. So that's 
180 degrees every other round. Um, so Shine has turned 90 degrees at the end of the last round. This round, she is turning back to fly towards Scoria. Um, Tyrael is moving towards Shine and hoping to like grab onto her and retake his position. Yeah. The other two brothers are sitting on Shine mm-hmm. um, as she goes towards Scoria. Scoria, with haste on, um, is going to fly away. She is not trying to engage with the brothers McGarry at this moment. Um, and with the haste, as we just said, said before, she's going to be able to pull well out of range. Um, but haste doesn't last forever. She's going to be able to gain some ground for a little while, well, also, but eventually haste will fall well. off. I can get some shots off during that time. Sh- Did you get some shots? Yeah. I just want to take a look at our map over here. How far are we from all the things? Why well, you don't go flying in enemy territory? She's going the wrong direction, right? So it's not like she can... Like, if she wants to go home, she's going to have to come past us again. Want to check diving speeds here? Altitude, breath weapons, clear ground. Bro, are my bats coming? <laughs> oh, your bats are like so far behind you, they're struggling to catch up. They'll get here. Okay. Keep in mind which way she goes, because they might come. This score returned. Shine turned. Score turned. Da, 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 da. Yep. So they're going to be headed in the same. Actually, I think Scoria is going to do a half turn this round. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so next round. Tyrael, you're going to be flying in the direction of Shine. Um, who can see you? Everyone can see you, and I think it's pretty clear to them that you are trying to reposition yourself on Shine's back, right? Um, or just, like, grab a claw or something when she flies by. Mm. I just want to get right, close right. to Right, right. Yeah, so you can sort of move in her direction, then change your speeds to mostly match hers. Uh-huh. She'll, you know, take for a, a brief fly, give you something to reach out on. Yeah. Go, you know, um, just don't... Is there a roll even needed? I don't think there's a roll needed. You got a dragon riding proficiency. You've got a flying spell on you. You're all right. You can re-grab to shine as Scoria. Um, I believe she's turning around. I do believe she is turning to face you. Nice. She just is Tyrell, is Tyrell near us? Hold on. So many things, and they all have to be done exactly right. Otherwise, I'll never hear the end of it. Well, as long as we win, no, don't mind. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Except for me. No. No, 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 no. So she's done a 90 no, or a 180? She's not turning around. No, no, she's oh. not. I was thinking about her turning, um, but she's not going to turn. She's going to head in the opposite direction, and you will get some shots off, Nick. You're yes. going to get how many shots? Is it around four? Four around, yeah. Back attack. Okay. Now, range shouldn't matter, right? Given um, I'm just up taking to off stone skin. like extreme, uh, up to long range doesn't yeah, really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, up to long range. Yeah. Well, it's just stone skin charges, so you can just tell me how many I get off. Right. You see, you tell me if she runs out of stones, then I'll start rolling. But um, you have a mounted position. Yeah, that only really matters for that. It's fine. Um, so you will get a. She only has two more stone skin charges. Oh, so first maybe. round, you get two attacks. Okay, what range are we at here? Um, I need to figure that out since she, the distance was twisted and turned and she is now moving. Her movement speed is no longer 30. It's 90. 
Um, no, her haste is double, not triple. It's double? Okay, so her speed yeah. is 60. So instead of gaining 900 feet per round, you're losing 1,800 feet per round. Yeah. So you basically just get this one round of attacks at extreme range at minus five to hit. Well, I beat her in initiative, so I do my first two shots at short range and break the stone skin, right? Right. And then you get your last two shots at long range. Okay, so what's that? Minus five? Minus five, yeah. Are there any penalties for being airborne? It's just, I'll just roll it and see where we... Yeah, just roll it. Uh, No, doesn't matter anyway. Okay, cool. Um, And at that point, Shine, or Scoria, is just well ahead of you and breaking away. You've got a few minutes to talk while on back. Dragon back. Yeah, um, we keep and let's going. sort out your position. Do we are we able to keep up with her? Or no, she's flying away from you. She's um, gaining ground. Yeah. So wait, why are we falling? What do we do at this point? Because our haste we will run out. Falling. She's going the wrong way. Yeah, haste will run off. But and then once haste runs out, does she? Do, we don't, her again. don't we move at the same speed, or do we move slightly faster? We move, we faster. move faster. Okay. Then I guess we'll just yeah keep going. Like she'll get. 30 rounds away from us, basically. Sure. So, yeah. the problem is that she has no life. minutes, we yeah. should catch her. There's no cities or anything. Well, yeah, 45 fine. minutes means we're not going to have no scroll of fire protection. Yes, I know. Is she just going to turn around and fire breath us? She might do. Well, what, that, then do we just all three die? Well, me and Moon would have just died then if she breath weaponed us. So, yeah, like we can back out, but. Well, wait, so why are we chasing run, her if yeah. she can just breath weapon us and kill us? Well, because I feel like she thinks that we've got protection. But maybe she is smart enough to know that we cast a scroll and it would run out by now. In which case, no, we're going back. We're not going to rely on her not casting a spell that will kill all four of us or three of us in one. (laughs) I think that's probably not a good idea. So, party, you have many rounds as Scoria flies away from you. Um, She's well beyond the vision of any of you at this point, even with the ring of seeing. But Shine can still sort of feel her presence and track after her. We don't have any well, more protection clear, scrolls, though. right? Nope. Oh, okay. No, I have to make another one. Six days. Right, Scoria is just going to keep doing this. I don't I don't know what the solution is. I don't think she will keep doing burn. this. No. Maybe not. She doesn't know how many scrolls we've got. She almost got caught here. Okay. So do you break off or do you fly after? We have to break off. There's no other option. Yeah, we have to, we break, have to break off. We break off and we head okay. south back to our Wixthron Renta. All right. The party breaks from the flight. Second day of engaging Scoria over the skies of Drekus and Mystria. And once again, no one dies. The party breaks off from Scoria and begins to head south back towards Drekus. Scoria ends up um, beneath Lake Edric uh, when you check on her, Loser. Anton. As our party slowly makes their way back to Wickthron Marenta. Um, many hours later, she will start making her way back to Dragon Peak. But she checking in on her over and over again. It appears that she stayed like under the lake or maybe, you know, just above and under. Who You're not exactly sure how yeah. deep within the lake she was, but she was in the water for mm-hmm. many hours. As um, our party returns to town. And would you say this is a success? That you that you have beaten her back from your lands and driven her home and broke off your flight. Yeah, these are, are these victories these are or are these like absolutely victories? She's gone from victories, ruling yeah. the skies and ruling the lands to being chased around in her own territory now. She has I no think. cities to fly forward to um, to help her because she's burned them all to the ground. Um, yeah, she's getting handled. Hmm. Can Ark Summoners start making some scrolls? What scrolls? Actually, at this point, can we start? We should be able to redirect the kingdom's resources because there's no we mystery and army to fight anymore. There should be no more shipping of supplies or any bullshit of like, oh, that's being used by blah, blah, blah. It's being used by us now, okay? We're commandeering yeah. it all. Yeah. We um, need dimensional translocation scrolls, dim- or sorry, dimensional anchors. We need Sombar to learn how to do Imrix fire protection I, I think it, I think Sombar does know how to do that, Neil, to be honest. If I remember correctly, I feel like she learned Imrix simulation as well. Uh, I might be wrong about that, and if your notes say different, then fine. But I'm I'm certain that I remember us both learning it. Ooh, we got XP. <laughs> she flood. Uh, Imrix Immolation. Which level is that? Six. Okay. 
Uh, well, why don't we take our break right here and we'll come back on the other side as we redirect the kingdom's resources. Yeah. We'll All right. All right.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tombs of Scoria. Our party will fly back to Wickthron Rorenta. Shine, you know, will take a nice slow glide most of the way. Yeah. Um, after, you know, a nice couple hours of chasing each other. And you'll get back in the mid to late afternoon. Back to the capital. Um, I look there was... at my two brothers and I'll say, well, I think that was a success. It's a shame that we couldn't pin her down, but I think we've made our point. She isn't safe in the air. But uh, we need more scrolls. So I should get to work. We definitely do as quickly as possible. I didn't think she'd attack us after last time. But now I'm not sure, even after this time. Well, I'll get to work right away. I need six days. I can't be interrupted. If you interrupt me, then I lose the progress. Well, if Shine so comes. I only do so if it's especially important um, and I'll go off to my study now start working yeah there had been talk um, right before we broke about using the kingdom's resources so what do you want to leverage for you well how is um, is it Matava how are they doing what happened to them in the year and a half since we were gone wait that's the all, is that the all women kingdom or yes that yeah. is the matriarchal kingdom collapsed right um yeah, you can check in to see what happened to Matava. Uh, they've suffered dramatically, <clears throat> um, but the kingdom is still more or less intact. The The power structure is more or less intact. Volara and Yunta have been destroyed. Lyra is badly damaged. The other two towns and city are still intact, but you know now you've got problems with people and food, and, and they are using their remaining um, port of Lyra to import food from wherever they can find it, um, as far away as the Dardens, maybe in as far away as Solemn. That, that's probably a little bit too far to bring in food, to be honest. Uh, they're having some issues, but the kingdom is more or less there. The power structure is more or less intact. It's just in a state of um, emergency and strife. Okay. Um, well, I'm just curious because I know they would probably have scrolls to protect against like dragons and stuff. Are, are there any areas, like corners of the kingdom, where protection from dragonfire scrolls might be? They might have some protection from gas scrolls because that's what the green dragon there used. Mm -hmm. It's possible that you could round some up from Zelenia, uh, but you would have to go and threaten or convince or bargain or whatever to get them. But if you're looking for protection from dragon fire. Mm -hmm. Clertis will tell you that they don't know of the location of any of these things. Um, protection from Clertis dragon fire. Probably not. Those are rare commodities in this area. And believe it or not, when there's a red dragon in the land, whatever protection from fire scrolls are, they get used up fast. So it's up to Imric to make them. And um, what's her face? Arc Somber can do it as can well. She, can she make them then? So she I has don't. Imric's immolation. She did learn that. So she could have um, been making scrolls. Yeah, but she's been doing all the important jobs of the okay. Archmage up yeah, till now. Right. Well, okay. Well, no, that's fine. But from now on, she I think she has to make them with me. I think we lock ourselves together and we make them two at a time. Well, you're going to have to convince the queen to redistribute her wizard to do that. It's going to be a conversation. Yeah, well, probably tonight, absolutely. this afternoon. Yeah, well, I think I go straight to Oxombar's um, study then. I, you know, I have that conversation with Tyrion and Anton, and then I head to the keep to start work. Yeah. So I'll go to, you know, I walk through the gate. I don't know if I get stopped. Does it matter but, if they stop you at the gate? No, I mean, I say I'm here to see Oxombar. I come in. Yeah, people just let you right into the castle these days. There's no more, what's your purpose? Let me wait for, you know, you're, you're Imric fucking McGarry. Absolutely. Yeah, um, you walk right into the castle. You know where Ark Somber's chambers are. You go there, you knock on the door, no one answers. You ask a guard or, you know, passing servant. Yeah. They tell you that Ark Somber's in a meeting. Um, eventually, an hour later, you can meet Ark Somber in her chambers. Ark Somber, great to see you. I have a, a tale to tell you for the last few days. We have engaged directly with Scoria. That's Hop Shine. Uh, fought amongst the clouds above Mistria. She fled. Uh, we could have pursued, but uh, ran short of our fire protection scrolls. Which is uh, why I've come here. I need to make more as soon as possible. And 
me and you are the only ones who can make them. I was hoping that perhaps you could put aside your other duties for a couple of weeks and help me make three, maybe four. It's a week of spell, right? Six days. We can't be interrupted. Let's do 12 days, we'll make four. That should give us cover. If you haven't got I'll the time, I'll have to I ask can... the queen to see if there's anything she needs me to do, but with the armies of Mystria gone, Scory is the only real remaining threat. It seems reasonable. I can speak to her if you think that might help. No, I, I, I can speak to the queen. Well, I'll get things ready here. We should start as soon as possible. I think Scory is aware of our limited resources and is trying to push our boundaries to Beta's using things. How many scrolls of fire protection do you have? None. We used our last one today. She chews her lip a little bit. So if Scoria comes again? If she comes again, we can probably only defend Bogtheris or Fenden or Wicked or Renta, someone that's heavily defended. I don't think we can pursue her in the skies without them. And your teleportation towers, are they not... Are those being put on hold? <clears throat> the scroll's more important. There's no the, the, the tower is to respond to Scoria's attack. If there's no scroll, then we can't respond. Understood. Um... Well, come by my laboratory tomorrow and um, bring all the things that you will need for we shall bunker down and work exclusively on these things. Bring your spell books, whatever favorite pillow you may have, and your favorite drinks. I shall see you then. Farewell. I sm smile at her and uh, we'll leave. Mm -hmm. Imbr um, Not Imbr yeah, I go um, back Anton, are you going to go back to making potions of slipperiness? Fuck no. <clears throat> I got enough oh. of those. How many do you have? Um, I, I have three on my character sheet, and then three? Tyrell has some, I think. Right, because I know that you had started making them, and then they got interrupted. I think I might have made four. They yeah. take three days each, was it? Four days? I think so, yeah. Three or two, four days, three days. Yeah, no, that, that seems fine here. Oil um, I'm going to learn how to ride on a dragon's back. Sure, that'll take good. many months, just like it did for Tyrael. Well, but you can begin that training now. That's fine. I get started. Anton Dragon Training. And Tyrael. Was there anything that you wanted to do? Was there any other resources you wanted to redirect? I don't think there's anything I can do. I'm a rogue and I'm spells to study for. I don't think I can do another round of collecting poisons, can I? I don't even know if I would need um, them at this no, point. No, that, that was all of your pulling your strings on everything. <laughs> and even if you had more poisons, what would you do with them? Drink them at this point. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um. Give up right at the end. Just like me in Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, I, I don't think I literally... Unless you two can think of something I could be doing. I don't think I am. Not really, no. You could, like, make friends with people. <laughs> okay, I want to make friends with people. <laughs> well, I don't know how if Mistria is in a position to be... For, I know there was some... You said there was, like, some nobles that had come down and everything, but, um... Is there a reason why we're not... Why we haven't begun preparations to, like, move our armies north? Or are we doing that, or...? They are... Everyone's waiting on you. You said not to, so they didn't. We needed the scrolls. We were getting the scrolls, and that's how it's set up, and then we were going to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna sit in, in my house and brood then. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Well, that next day, Anton, you get up in the morning, you check on Scoria, she's in Dragon Peak, it's fine, you go find Shine, you talk to her, she's like, I serve your house, of course, I can train you how to ride me. There's already a saddle, let's get going. You know, you get your gear, she talks to you about warm weather equipment, the, the air speed, how it chills humans, she makes sure that you've got your like fuzzy boots on, your warm gloves, yada yada. As you get into the air with Shine and begin to practice, you check on Scoria again, and where is she? But over Free Park Forest, near Lake Edric, coming southward once again. I mean, I don't know what I can do. I can inform the people. I inform Tyrael, but 
uh, just as you're about to get into the air, you put Shine away for a moment. You find Tyrael in the house. Scory is over Lake Edric. Um, I shrug. I don't know if there's anything we can do, no? I asked Shine, what do you think? After a long thought, Shine says, what, what is your, at the end of the day, after everything is done, what is your greatest intent and desire? Kill Scoria. We need to kill Scoria. Then you let her burn everything while you prepare for the battle and you do it once the right way. Okay, DM. I mean, Shine. We're gonna watch our cities burn. If your goal is to kill Scoria, then the other things don't matter. You don't care about civilians. You don't care about your kingdom. You don't care about towns being ruined. If all you care about is killing Scoria, you use your people as a shield. I understand that dragons spend a lot of their times alone in caves, but for humans, when we wish to rule kingdoms, we don't want those to be kings of, kingdoms of ash. I completely agree. I think it's barbaric to let your people burn. Can we pull everybody back to just like some well-defended like ballista heavy cities until we're ready to do this for like a month? Is that possible or? Get people to abandon their towns and villages. You can issue those orders. There will be political ramifications. No one's gonna be happy about it. No one wants to give up their homes. Well, is it gonna be better to just let them burn alive right now or? I mean. You don't have to argue with me. I, I think that's a great idea, get people to abandon territory, but historically that's a difficult thing to do. We can grant them new territory in Mistria. Shut up. Um, I mean, it's winter. It's not like they've got fields to attend right now. Well, it's winter for a little bit. They're gonna have to start planting in a month or two. In a, eight weeks, six weeks? I mean, there might be something we can do. <clears throat> what? One sec. I resist fire and cold. Um, which I can reduce the damage of a breath weapon by 50%. Along with rings of protections. That'll reduce it even more. Scoria's breath weapon. Yeah, you can survive that then with that. I don't know. Probably. What's your breath weapon? Like, I think it's 24 D10. Well, so that goes down to 12d10 no let me check it it's not it's not bad. um she does about 144 damage on average not yeah that, that is right but it depends on the number of dice because the fire resistance ring will of course yeah, How many dice dice two. right but you know just back of the hand math if you <clears throat> resist the damage by half you take 72 on average and if there's a little bit more resistance maybe it drops down to 50 or something yeah and then it's halved again so you're probably looking at like taking like 30 damage from it if you pass your save. Gotta pass your save. Fail the save, you... get burned alive. Well, Tyrael probably survives failing live. his save, but Anton would Hold die. on, we're not gonna roll to die at this point. We're not doing We've that. been rolling to die for the past 20 episodes. There's no reason to right now. We're gonna issue an order to pull everybody into more well-defended inland cities. They can suffer the unpopularity for a moment. We're gonna spend a couple weeks making, we're getting two um, protection from fire, fire scrolls per week, right? For every six days, yeah. Every six days. How many of those do you think we'll need? Six should be good, you think three weeks? I mean, six would be good, Jeff. We can wait three weeks. Yeah, so three weeks, pull everybody back inland. She seems to prefer attacking coastal cities. That's what she does. Um, so pull everybody inland to more easily defended cities, uh, pass out scrolls of fucking magic missile or whatever the fuck to scare her off. Um, but I think those are, I would, or I, I can make a meeting with the queen and we can discuss this if she wants, but that's, that would be my recommendation. If you, oh wait, hold on. What? If the saving throw has failed, it's 50%. Um, and if the saving throw is successful, the creature only sustains one quarter damage. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, oh, okay. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's half, right? On a failed save, instead of taking full, you take half. On a pass save, instead of taking half, you take a quarter. It just sucks that our kingdom is like gonna just burn. It's always darkest I mean, right the before the dusk, is, my friend. <laughs> we let Ark Samba 
make the scrolls alone and the three of us try and fend off Scoria. But it's risky. I mean, our saves are immaculate. Quarter fire resist. I'm gonna go. I'll go have a. I'll go have a meeting with the queen. If you want to talk to the queen about this, Quavo. But my. Yeah. Th unless both of you feel very strongly against it, my recommendation is that we withdraw people to inner towns. We let Scoria go drug off for a little bit, and then when we're ready in three weeks, then we march north and go. Yeah. It's fine. My hope okay. is that there should be enough food for everybody and everything, because a lot of people have died. So it's not like there's as many people as over here before and everything. So we should be okay. Hopefully. Can we at least do like escorts of like mass people back? I guess. Escorts. Because. Yeah, because there are like trolls and shit in this area. It's true, there are monsters in the There's area. There's like monsters region. in the area. Yeah. It's not just fields. Well, you've got armies around. If you're going to, you know, evacuate yeah. Bondun to Seer, the soldiers from Bondun to Seer can try and keep the people safe. Okay. Okay. We will go tell the queen that's what's yes. happening. Let's see how that pans out. So you get audience with the queen. Um, this next day, you know, you've abandoned your dragon riding for the day. You've stripped off your cold weather gear. I wear um, it all the time. You wear it. Never. I take it all back. You go in mittens and all. You got I your brother like in tow. Mm -hmm. The two of you go find the queen. She's having uh, lunch with a couple of her clerics and wizards. She has a Cade Arc Somber to work on these scrolls with Imric. Um, but uh, Arc Somber's apprentice is in here with the queen and the high cleric who's only fifth level at this point. And the three of them are having tea when you are brought into the room. Uh, soldiers, queen's guard are here as well, of course. The cleric and the assistant, the apprentice, get to their feet and give the two of you nice formal bows and curtsies. The queen uh, motions for you to sit nearby, offers you some finger sandwiches and some tea and asks, what brings you to see her this day? like to discuss strategies with the kingdom. Um, we uh, need three weeks to prepare to actually kill Scoria, and Scoria seems to be on maximum aggression mode right now, knowing that we don't have the resources to respond every time. She's causing our already limited resources to dwindle with every attack. So it would be my suggestion that we pull everybody back to the most defensible cities while we spend three weeks preparing these scrolls, and then we go on an all-out offense and kill her. What, which cleric is this? I have a quick question. You know, I don't even think you got this cleric's name. All the other important clerics have been killed. You you look at this person, and you don't know who the fuck this is. This is some, like, chump-ass cleric that has been promoted through the ranks because everyone more qualified is dead. Who the fuck is this fucking piece of shit cleric here? They won't let me cast uplift to, to do it anyways. Why even ask? They're not even strong high enough level to do that. Fifth level is. Fifth level means third level spells. Uh, fifth isn't uplift the third. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. No, it's fourth. Yeah. Yeah. The queen looks at you. You want to withdraw everyone from towns into walled cities, so bring the people of Bondun to Seer and to Solwick, for example? Yes. Whatever cities you feel are best defensible against Scoria's solo attacks. She does some quick math. That's five towns. Bergshire, Fenden, Grumpern, Thickleglade, Bondun to Seer. And probably 500 villages as well. Pull them all back into we could probably leave the villages, right? Or not, I mean... You don't have to. You could just put out the notice that those villages are at risk of being burned by Scoria and give people the opportunity to move or the option to stay if they wish. Because it's up to you. You're the diplomat here. I'm merely making a suggestion because we're not going to be able to defend Scoria from attacking constantly all of these port cities and cities on the coast. Where's Scoria at right now? Um, She's over Lake Edric. Uh, yeah, I'll tell her, like, Scoria's coming again. She's done two sweeps in the past two days, one on Bon Theris, <clears throat> uh that we kind of thwarted and then we edged her off in the East Voden the next time. Um, she's coming again and she's coming now to burn the kingdoms on the east, on the coast. So whatever action you take, you need to get the message out as soon as possible. Queen pauses, takes her napkin and dabs away the little bit of a mayo that landed on her lips, <clears throat> thinking to herself while the wizard and the cleric still stand. If we issue an order to abandon all, 
unwalled, undefended towns. There's going to be chaos, theft, property loss and destruction, and hiking 100 miles or 50 miles on the winter will be difficult for the very old and the very young. We probably wouldn't be able to get each town to abandon for at least a week while pre preparations are made to feed everyone on the road. Anton will smack the table, upsetting the dishes. Why? And we'll get close and say, well, then let them burn. Jesus. Over Anton's shoulders, you can see that the, the Queen's guards have, like, stepped half a foot forward, put their hands on their swords. But seeing that he's just, like, getting in her face, they, they stay at the ready. Um, no weapons are fully drawn. I shake queen... my head when I put my hand on Anton's shoulder, and I pull him back a little. And um, I will speak to the Queen. <clears throat> Um, you know, perhaps it's my mistake. I'm not here to give you advice on how to run or rule your kingdom, uh, run your cities or rule your kingdom, but I will tell you that we are going to be out of commission for about three weeks, and I'll leave it up to you to determine what the wisest move is from there. If there's nothing else you need from us, uh, we will go. If you do decide to evacuate cities, um, I could help you when it comes to enforcing crime. I'm sure having an invisible man blinking around the street, stabbing... Uh, highway men would be a good deterrent for at least some cities, but it's up to you. I have nothing better to do while these two research what they need to research. Or maybe, uh, yeah. She nods her head in understanding. And in three weeks, then? Is that it? Three weeks, you'll make your scrolls, you'll make your, your tools, and then Scoria will be defeated? If everything goes according to plan right now, 35 days is about the approximate time left that Scoria has on this planet. When our scrolls are done, in about three weeks, three times six days, we head our armies north, we march towards Dragon's Peak. Me, my two brothers, and Shine, and any other brave souls that wish to come with us will make our way through her lair, we will find her, and we will put her down. There's nothing she can do to stop that. The only possible way she wins is if we are reckless in defending against one of these aggressive attacks that she's making. It sounds like the more important task is to marshal everyone for the invasion then. If in three weeks we are going to head north into Mystria, it's time to get our wagons and our armies ready. If you can do so in safe places that are safe from the fires of Scoria. Okay. Well then, uh, she gets up from her meal she looks to the three brothers. I thank you for your information. Ew. In 35 days? Is that what you said? Um, well, these guys will be done. Arc Somber and uh, Imric. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Arc Somber and Imric should be done with their research in about 18 days. 18 days, yeah. Yeah, so about three we less than three weeks for them. My brother here will be able to fly a dragon. Um, in about three weeks, then, we should begin to march north. And then, I don't know, I can't imagine it would take us more than a week or so to reach, if that, for our armies to reach um, Dragon's Peak. And then from there, me, my two brothers, Shine, and the best men that we have will make our way through Scoria's lair and slay her. But I don't see much else we have to do beyond that. Well, then. I suppose this calls for a toast. This is great news. There may be some casualties, some towns may burn, but they have already burned. Many have already burned. Today is the day the war is about to end. Um, she walks over and the queen herself will pour a glass of wine for each and every person in the room, bodyguards included, and will set them on the table. She grabs one herself, motions for everyone, including her bodyguards, to grab one and hoist the glass to the air. To the death of Scoria, to the rise of Drekus, to King McGarry, and Empress Wick. Um, I'll grab a glass and I will toast and I'll have a sip. All right. Anton will pick up a glass. <laughs> and what, Feeling smash empty. it on the table? Don't. Oh, sorry, God. <laughs> He just drops it. Why? Says, uh, I will not toast to uh, all of the people who me and my brothers have failed and killed. He'll walk out. I apologize for Anton. I think part of his head wow. was left back in that plane that we rescued him from. True. 
Well, what would one expect from a cleric of vengeance? I wouldn't expect anything else. It is just his way. Indeed. Do I hear that? Uh, no, I think you stormed out. Yeah, right? of course I did. Yeah, you did. did. If she would have said that when he was in there, whoo, she would have got it. And that's why she waited. I mean, you're wearing your amulet yeah. still, right? She already knows, bro. Okay. So I suppose we watch you get on shine as Scoria comes south and south and south and past East Voted and past Bon Theris and past Pernissus and checking in on Scoria. You can get her location as she gets closer and closer to Bon Dundasir. How long does it take her to get there? How many miles is this? It'll take her about 24 hours from the time she left Dragon Peak to get to Bon Dundasir. That'll be the next morning. Not You know, you came back one day, she left in the morning as you were getting up. It'll be the morning after that that she will be in Bon Dundasir. And Shine is not coming to the aid. Imric McGarry is not coming to the aid. And Bon Dundasir will begin to burn. Just gonna get a little hex through Bon Dundasir. Did and, we um, at least evacuate the people first? Or not? Well, I mean, there was only 24 hour notice to, to even yeah. send a message like that. And that has to go by horseback, which at best takes a day. <clears throat> Those people were just left there was no way to get information or to escape them in time. And it burns. Well, um, um, and after that, Scoria teleports back home. She spends, you know, six hours, not even six hours, like two hours burning the town to the ground. Um, and then makes her way, you know, teleports herself back to uh, bridge light and then flies her way back home. <clears throat> the following day, Scoria will set out in the other direction, across the Draken Wastes, across the Red Coast, across the Shallow Sea, past the Western Island, all the way towards Outlast. Um, and checking in on her from time to time, you can see that she stays in and around Outlast for the better part of a couple hours. Um, Outlast at this point is, is heavily built into the hillside, and much of the infrastructure there is already damaged, so... She just terrorizes the area for a little while before returning back home. Um, Anton, do you check in on her frequently to to see what it is that she's doing and what it is she's burning, or or is that too much to bear? You know, knowing that she is damaging things while you're practicing writing or taking a break and catching your breath, like how do you how do you deal with the with the tracking of Scoria? Uh, I think during this time, Anton's, after he sees Bond Dunster just get wrecked, he probably stops checking um, and just pulls an Imric where he just gets lost and drank because he just feels like he's failed. Uh, yeah. Not like that he's failed Valthara and he's not like vengeful. He's more just like sad um, that all these families are being like torn apart and like ruined. Mm -hmm. And he gets to sit here in like the ivory castle mm -hmm. with his like uh aunt and his brother and like mm -hmm. he's offered like a toast <laughs> he just feels like uh the world's very very wrong mm -hmm. okay imric you don't come up for air right you're just in there making scrolls don't think, yeah with... i don't think i can i probably do check in after the first six days but mm -hmm. you know like i'll probably give myself like, at least a few hours break or whatever in between scrolls yeah because yeah. at that point we'll have two, so we will be in a position to do something mm -hmm. if we had to. You know. Well, Bondundasir burns, Outlast burns. Does uh, she really? There's. Oh, she the flies outside into of Outlast. The, not she the, flies not into the, the city. Inside. She sees like literally no one is there anymore. Is she really just going to sit there like an like a just a like a remedial dragon just just blowing fire everywhere, standing there, and then just flies away? Did she really do that? She could. I'm just. I'm just curious. Like walk me through what stories. Um, in whatever cities that we've pulled people back from. Wait, did she? 
Well, because the yeah, the first city, Bondundasir, word didn't even arrive in Bondundasir before oh, okay, Scoria okay. did. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, so that one, you know, there's people running around, sure. fires everywhere. But Outlast is more well defended, more well protected. They have a very different history over there, and their town is built in such a way to resist invasion. And so all of their critical infrastructure is underground. And when Scoria comes by here, she's just, you know, messing up the restored infrastructure on the outside. She's just sort of terrorizing the land. People bunker themselves down indoors, but Scoria will go around and destroy whatever ballista were left out, whatever ballista tried to take shots at her, tried to wound her. Um, she'll, you know, make a couple of landings and rip up the ground, just kind of fuck with the city and make it a difficult place to work from. And then she'll she'll go home. Um, and she'll come back down again on the south side and just start, you know, setting fires in forests where she can. And it's cold, it's wintry, there's snow on the ground. So these fires don't engulf the entire area, but she does succeed in burning some air, um, some regions. Does she stay away oh, yeah. from, like, the cities and the forest, like Solwick and Thickleglide? For a little bit, yeah. You know, you're only checking in every so often. Anton has sort of stops checking in, and you only can check in every six days. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I, I feel mm -hmm. like, and I think this is something we would have discussed, that it is probably worth the two of them and Shine defending Solwick or the, like being in the city. Like, I'm not saying go and engage her in the air, but like, you know, no, I don't be there so. to stop a direct attack. You don't? There's no stopping a direct attack. We can't be there because we'll just get breath weapon and like die. Like, there's like wizards and archers no. and. The dumbest thing is, Scory hasn't done this by until now. She is like, yeah, no one can do anything. No, she did this it. when you were gone for a year. Yeah, she was fucking shit up. <clears throat> yeah. And now it sounds like you don't want to risk any one of your party members. Well, like, you know, I keep working. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's but think. Like, let's. Here is the one hundred percent future. Is we lose some cities, we go north, we kill Scoria, and we have peace for a while to rebuild. That's okay, yes. right? If that happens, that's, that's fine. Perfect. Right? We can rebuild. Let's but like let's say there's like eighty percent chance of success of like countering her. On one out of five of those scenarios, somebody dies and now the future is dramatically different. Why why risk yeah. it? There's literally no reason. No, I agree. Right, yeah. We shouldn't. Yeah. That's yeah, that's exactly Shine's advice. All right. Um I don't think there's gonna be anything that will interrupt your progress. Scoria can't necessarily invade too deep within the area. Um, it does appear that she tries to stay out of wooded areas, that anything could be hiding underneath a good cover of woods. Um, but she does like to raise the forest nearby. She will make um, a couple of flybys of Thickle Glade. She doesn't stay long. She just does a couple of strafing runs and then leaves and then comes back um, the next day or two days later and does a couple of strafing runs and then leaves. Um, you can see from her patterning that she's being very cautious on the offensive, getting close, doing some damage, TPing out. We needed 18 days, was it? Yeah, yeah. Just That's just to get the scrolls. For mm. Anton to learn to ride a dragon, how long did it take Tyrael? I honestly don't remember. I think we just said, like, I think there was about a month of time, but I don't know if we put, like, a strict thing on it. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, do we need to know that before we make a move? I mean, it would help, but... Yeah, I just want to make sure that he can get a full dragon riding proficiency in the time. Um, I don't want to be like, you only have half a proficiency. So you need to wait for him to have it, right? How long did it take? It just depends, I guess. Yeah. I'm saying I don't think it's worth another city burning for Anton to get dragon riding, if that's how it works out, you know. But if you can do it in the 18 days, then... You know. No, I, I agree with you. It's like 20 days, I mean. Let's see. Tyrael learned how to ride a dragon on August 23rd, 1513. When did he start learning? He spends six weeks learning to ride a dragon with Shine. Six weeks is what it took Tyrael. Um, it'll take three weeks for all of your scrolls to be ready. So that puts you halfway. This is uh, this will be April 3rd when the scrolls are all ready to go. Am I able to do this while we're pushing our army up to Scoria? No, because then you'll be you know, too busy with the other stuff. You yep. you need to have your head focused on whatever it is you're doing. Um, you interested in roll? 
you know, you are significantly higher in level than Tyrael was when he learned to ride a dragon, Wiser. and there's already a saddle made. Tyrael and... can teach me some stuff since he's not doing anything. I mean, Shine's a better instructor than Tyrael on all of these well, things, but Tyrael might be better at like, you know, I had an issue um, when Shine would do like the barrel maneuvers or whatever. I would do my body this way. Can you try that instead? Um, I think it does help with like the human aspect rather than Shine just being like, oh, I don't know okay. what you're doing. Yeah. All right, that's. I think that's a pretty reasonable argument. There are aspects to it that only the writer would know that the dragon would be sort of unaware of. Um, Tyrael, can you give me a, a short vignette of your best dragon riding instructions? My best dragon riding instructions. Um, yeah, not your worst. To try, like, is this like how I would help him learn, or is this just like yeah, words well, give describing? Me a, if you're going to help your brother learn how to ride a dragon, mm -hmm. what would... What does that sound like it would be like for you? If I was going to help him learn the best, you know what? I've ridden Shine so much. I've got a good feel for how, what everything is like. I think that I would um, I think that I would just sit behind him on the saddle. He could cast telepathy on me, and I could just literally transfer him my thoughts as he like does it. I'd be like, this is how you would pull here. This is how <laughs> you got to move that true. way. And I think we'd be that's, connected by the mind. That's yeah, huge. That's awesome. <clears throat> it's just like that scene in Ghost. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me a, a wisdom check to see if you can learn this in three weeks instead of six. Bam! Oh, yeah. Nice. Moon the dragon rider. There we go. Dude. The telepathy. Wednesday, thing. April 3rd, 1515. The scrolls are ready. The What's armies are marshaled. The um, scrolls are ready. All right. Everyone, take two each, guys. You, is this like wisdom or... Yeah, I'm checking. I think it's wisdom minus something, but I don't know what the penalty is. It's like horseback riding, that's wisdom. Yeah, wisdom minus two. So uh, your adjust is at minus two, but your base is zero. Or your base is zero, your adjust is. Sorry, Ooh, base two. is minus two, adjust is zero. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. However you want to do it is cool. Um, I'm adding two scrolls of fire protection to my sheet. Two. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. me too good. as well, Steven. Got it. Okay. All right. I think it's uh, time to go. I'm going to finalize my spell list here. Do you think there's any point in me taking, like, Lance of Disruption and Lightning Bolt? Or do we just let the army do all the fighting and I'll literally just take... You're, we're, you and, and I, haste. we're just buffers now. No yeah. offensive spells. We just do... We do buffs. Taking two resist fires and cold. I'm adding another healing spell. <clears throat> Getting rid of command. Um, are we saying three weeks or are we saying eighteen days? Because I'd like to prepare a new persistence spell and three set weeks. up a new contingency spell. Okay. So I did. How long it takes me? Three weeks. Yeah. So that gives you an extra three days. Yep. Do you think I could have persistence haste ready so that I could cast it? Um at a moment's notice without even spending a round to do so. Do you think that's worth doing? I mean, I wait, do I, don't think, I think it would just be on you. I don't think it'd be an AOE. No, no. I, there's two ways to use persistence. One is to have it where you can like turn it on and off over the period. Yeah. I could do it like that with haste and have it like working for me as I wanted. Or you can have a spell that's like ready to cast at a moment's notice. So I think I could have persistence ready and that at any moment I could cast it without using my action and then do something else. Yeah, I think that that's good. Then Unless can, like, you want to have persist, yeah, and have contingency be your fire shield. Contingency is the that. fire shield, and I just have to. The only thing that is, I have to cast fly. But yeah, I think that's okay. So I think that's what um, I'm gonna do, Neil. Koibu, during those three weeks, was I able to get some spell components or no? It depends on what you need. It's gonna be uh, true seeing. What's that ointment component? for the eyes that is made from very rare mushroom powder, saffron, and fat, and costs no less than 300 GP per use. Ooh. Um. This is the fifth level spell, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, fifth. Very rare mushroom powder. I think with Tyrael's connections into the underworld, um, 
that shouldn't be too difficult. Yes, you can get the true scene components. What else? What other rare components might you need for your spells? Um, can I get back to you on that during our? Because yeah, yeah, we're not going to kill totally. right now. Yeah. 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 How many um, can I get? D four. No, you should be able to get more because the the saffron you can buy, the fat you can buy, the very rare mushroom powder is going to be the hard bit. But I think you could probably get um, 2d4. Roll me 2d4. Four. Four. Yeah. There That's you good go. Enough. Thank you. Yeah, and then I'll get you the rest um, later. I don't think I need it anymore, but I want to make sure. Mm -hmm. Good berries can you... bring people up, <laughs> right? Correct. Okay. Imric. Um, you spent yeah. all this time doing these things, but were there any rare components that you needed for your more advanced spells that we haven't talked about yet? Let me. Do you, do you have all the components for all your spells? Yeah, I am pretty certain. The only one that's new is the a hollow bone from a vulture. Easy peasy. Myself. That's easy. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. Reverse You're good gravity then. is a lodestone and iron filings. Easy as well. Yep. Yep. So um, okay. Low resistance and broken iron rod. Yeah, nothing, nothing difficult. All right. Our armies gather to the north of Drekus's forest. Um, and how are we doing this? Is it one big army group that you're defending that is going to march their way up through everything and go to her lair? I think Protoss. Yeah, death ball. No I think it literally has to be. Yeah, not like formations or anything. I think it has to be pretty grouped because we need to be close enough to receive Scoria if she comes in yeah, without yeah. having like yep. distant flanks getting picked off. Right, death ball. Okay. Um, the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be crossing the river Voden since the bridge is out in Bridgegate, and so the weakest point is when you're crossing Bon Theris because um, this is where Wait, you got to go. How big is the gap? Over the river Voden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, over at that point, it's a large bridge, but you know, there was one bridge that did it. I think the span is like a hundred feet. I think I can fabricate a bridge. You can just fabricate that. A hundred foot long bridge? It's like 15 cubic yards. That's a lot, actually. Yeah, that is a lot. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, maybe I do two spells, like, you know, like one half and the other half. Mm hmm. I think with yep. Fabricate, I can make it work. It might it might mean like waiting for a day and then letting me cast Fabricate a few times to get the bridge ready, but I think we can cross like that. I think that's fine. Okay. Mr. Mooton, how often do you check in on Scoria? We're moving the army. Um, that's going to be what Anton's probably primarily doing. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm every hour saying, or something. At, yeah, at least. <clears throat> Maybe... Probably every hour. Um, maybe he gets a nice rest at night, you know, knowing that, they, that she can probably yeah. only move 12 miles an hour. Unless she teleports on them. Right. If she teleports or if she yeah. fast flies, which, you know, will exhaust her, but she can do. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to how are you going to keep an eye on her to make sure that she doesn't ambush your army in the middle of the night? Um. There's nothing really to do about that, right? Our score in night shine can be above. Um, her yeah, role she would can... probably wake the army. Yeah, she can feel out Scoria from a pretty good distance. Yeah, I can't cast Iron Vigil because if I stay awake, then eventually I'm gonna have to sleep. Yeah. How, wait, I have a question. How long do we think that this is gonna take? Well, your like, army can move. Up? Um, about 15 miles a day is gonna be the rate and that that's a that's an impressive movement rate for an army like this yeah. um you know you've got people in heavy gear you've got wagons full of supplies you're not on roads um this is a, a you know pretty solid movement rate considering your logistical situation um and so it'll take you what's 75 divided by 15 like five days to get to bridgegate and then uh, from Bridgegate, the the best plan that people have is to go. If you can cast Fabricate, then yep. what they want to do is go um, through Evermond and then like this. This is the the route the army, the generals will tell you is the fastest 
or you know the logistics experts but you will need perhaps a bridge to cross evermond um, if the enemy destroys it and maybe a bridge to cross the river at high meadow if the enemy destroys it but those are both you know seemingly passable doable deeds so are we thinking like two weeks to get there that, that, that should be easy to do the fabricates for Evermond and High Muddy. The issue will be mm -hmm. having supplies near the River Vodan. Because, like, so I think we're going to need to cross where there's trees. Otherwise, you know, we're going to need a shitload of wood carried there with us. Although I suppose oh, we, right. are an, we are at an army, though, so maybe we, we have an bring army, a yeah. shitload of wood. I have a question. First. Um, how, So I need an exact, like, how many estimate do the generals tell me it will be to get there? Okay. Well, 15 miles a day because i can cast iron vigil and stay up forever for at least like what, what is that 29 days i can stay up for about a so month i think we're looking at maybe 200 miles sorry uh, 13 days. days 14 days yeah, is our our miles. pretty reasonable estimate so that includes a little days. bit of time stopped at problems you know maybe there's a pass that's muddy or frozen or something that includes a little bit of leeway no disasters if you want to include like you know things going very wrong, then sixteen to twenty days. What's um, our plan if Scoria tries to like bypass us? You know, like she comes out of a mountain, she circles around the arm, and she tries to go to Drakus. Sorry, keep going. I'm saying, what's our plan in that situation? If she goes around to go to Drekus, yeah, we teleport Jordan, back and we do the, we do the memes. Well, we don't have the towers set up, is what I'm saying. So we'd have to maybe intercept on Shine. Steven, do you have a thought? For what? How we're catching Scoria? Or. Like, let's say we're marching the army, right? Mm -hmm. And she flies around the army and tries to go to Drekus. Which she, she can't do that, no? Why not? It's like her lair, isn't that like her most precious fucking thing? Well, yeah, it's going to take us two weeks to get there. We're halfway there. She can. I think that we should have it set up so that... He, here's the thing. If she wants to fly to Drekus and we go to her lair, she has lost everything. Because if we're able to clear out traps and shit in her lair without her being there, then the traps, we should be able to deal with it, right? Sorry. Yeah, what I'm saying, like, okay, we start marching seven days in, mm -hmm. we're halfway to the lair. She then attempts to fly over the army to Drekus. What yeah, we if we just fly right to the lair then, don't we do that? Or teleport there even. We have a teleport ring. Can we teleport... Well, like, we yeah. fly on Shine's back straight to the left. Sure. Leaving, yeah. Abandoning the army? Um, the city. No, we can't really abandon the army. Well, why can't we abandon the army? It's a whole army. Because then Skrull will turn around and maybe kill him? She can't kill the whole army. They can just spread yeah, out. she her, can. Her, no. How often does her breath, fire breath recharge? Every three rounds. So every three rounds, if they all spread, it's not like she's going to be, like, killing, like, a million people, like, every fire breath, right? How many people are in our army? Should be tens of thousands of people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, not to mention she'll be dealing with arrows, uh, meaning... Arrows won't affect her. Wait, they... Well, actually, you yes, did bring they... that catch of magic arrows. Well, not only that, like 5, but, but also her stone skins, right? So if she teleports mm -hmm. back, she's going to lose her stone skins. Yeah. Um, if we clear out her lair, she's she's done, right? That's like game over condition for her. Um, the army if, should if have get, some way of dealing with her. lair, yeah. yeah. Like, scroll, don't we, do we have any of those wands we can hand out of, like, magic missiles or anything like that? Or do we have wizards that can cast magic? How many wizards do we have left in our entire fucking kingdom? We should have 10 that can cast magic missile, right? Mm -hmm. You'll have some wizards along with you that can cast magic missile, but the levels are all pretty low. Um, you know, they're all no, without it on your hands, magic missile, fifth, okay? Fifth-ish okay, level. Listen, I'm, I'm less concerned about the army and more concerned about the cities back in Drakus, because if she knows that our entire fighting force is halfway to Dragon's Peak, she might feel confident enough to start attacking like Fenden or on Theris or Solwick. We have 5,000 magic arrows. Can we give arrows out to people in the army? Mm hmm Yeah, like f five to each is... Um... Yeah. It's a thousand mm -hmm. people yeah. who have arrows. Yeah, true. A thousand archers that each have a mag that each have five magic arrows. Mm -hmm. Only use on Scoria. Mm hmm Yeah, I think that's fine. If Scoria goes to, like, burn Drekus, we just end her dragon peak, and then it's over. We We've already conceded that we don't care about Drekus at this point and we just need Scory to go. Well, these all sound like great conversations for our players to discuss over the week while the armies gather and you begin your march northward. Right? Yep. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Obviously. Um, and so we will come back next week 
as the army leaves Drekus on the last march to Scoria's lair. Um, and I think it's question time, and then true. we're out for the day. Is there any chance next week? Can we do it on Wednesday, or is Thursday preferred? That's great for me. Yeah, I'm fine. I think Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday works for me. Should be fine. You're both okay with Wednesday? Ooh. What? Wednesday does not work for me. I could do the 15th. I could do the 18th. I could do the 17th. 15th mm. Tuesday, or is that I've over? Got, we've got Tuesday busy. Todd, Tides of Death on 15th. Okay, I can do it on Thursday. I'm just going to be in a hotel, so I don't know what the internet will be, but it should be okay. Yeah, okay. I can't actually do it that day. Friday? Or on the 16th, sorry. Uh, I'm going to be out of town from Thursday to Monday. So, But I, I can do it Thursday. I'll, I just have to be in a hotel. It's fine. Yeah, sorry. All right, we'll we'll check. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Um questions, two questions, ready? Yep. How does everyone feel about rules lawyering with the DM? Is it a necessary good or evil of D&D? Rules lawyering's fun. It's the best part of the game. It's more necessary in 2.0 than in 5e. Yeah. Or in 2e probably in general, right? Yeah, but it's part of what makes 2e good. Um, I do personally think it can go too far sometimes. So I think it's you know you've got to do your best to try and um, get the right balance with it. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about rules lawyering is that um, it's fun when there's a strict set of rules because I think then the drama is very high. Um, I think that with lawyering, I think it can work as a bit of a sponge sometimes to where if stuff starts to get iffy around the edges, the arguments come in, and then it starts to feel like oh, there's another set of Dragon Balls, you know, where it's like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah. like, maybe they should have died, maybe they shouldn't. That's the only thing I don't like about lawyering is on those edge cases where it's like, if it's like a fair lawyer, that's fine. But when stuff starts to get kind of wacky, it's like, okay, well, fuck, well, can we ever die or Fox should that ever in. happen or whatever? <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it starts to feel like... Yeah, I agree. But mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, I mean, it's probably necessary. It's probably always going to be a necessary part of D&D. &D. Um, what caused the Matavan Civil War? It's been ill. What? The Matavan Civil War? I think they mean what caused the breakdown. I think you were saying there was like some unrest in Matava last time um, we talked about it. Like people were civil warring, I think. I, I don't quite remember the word civil war, but maybe I, I did say that. There is unrest in Matava and the cause, you know, how, how deep do you want to go? If you want to go like really broad in general, it's the destruction of like half their kingdom plus a power vacuum plus being trounced by out of state foreigners. You know, imagine if, um, you know, imagine North Korea in the 1950s where their country is completely bombed to nothing. Um, there's, there's a problem over there. You know, luckily North Korea had China and Russia to back them up. But without that, you have a huge problem. So in Matava, there's a faction of people who are not excited about bowing down and accepting whatever terms Drekus gave. There's a faction that says we should have fought to the death before we allowed one Tyrael McGarry to step foot in our capital. <laughs> um, you know, so you have that sort of political turned infighting turned um, actual bloodshed and bloodbath. But the crown there is strong enough and the the system of governance is strong enough that the, the southerners who were the ones who were more damaged and lost more and more offended um, were easily, you know, stopped by the Northerners. And now you have like a, you know, like a reconstruction era style rebuilding of what was lost, but you know, most of what was lost was already destroyed. So it's just a, it's an awkward place, you know? So that's, that's the, the cause of any infighting is disputes about why Matava is in the suffering state that it was when it was in such a state of grace for so long. Any any empire falling to pieces inevitably like turns in on itself and goes to war. Okay, well there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Well, we'll be it? back uh, next week. I think at the uh, normal Maybe. time should be fun. Um, I'll be back here on stream in thirty minutes, guys. There's at least two careers that are probably ending tonight. So yeah, we'll be back. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, see you guys in a, in a little bit. Bye. See ya. Bye.
Standing on the edge of the crater Like the prophets once said And the ashes are all cold now No more bullets And the embers are dead Whispers in the air Tell the tales of the brothers gone Desolation, devastation What a mess we made when it all went wrong Watching from the edge of the circus for the games to begin gladiators draw their 